How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful day. What is the last time we streamed on a Sunday, man? What is happening today, dude? I'm not ready for this at all. I got out of shower. I was getting all my um, IRL stuff done. I didn't even look at the mirror, dude. So we're just going in <laughs> dry into this. I kind of want to play a little bit of the um, remix mode until it is gone. I think it's going to be gone by tonight, 10 p.m. Pacific daytime, which means... We have quite a few hours to play with, I think. Something interesting awaiting. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Even my friends that I was of like, let's hide them, my man. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's just hop on immediately, ma'am. So this week is gonna be a fantastic week, by the way. Uh, starting Monday. I don't know, do, in your guys' brain, does the week begin on a Sunday or a Monday? Because every calendar that I look at, for um, it looks like everybody weeks begin on a Sunday. For me, it begins on a Tuesday, honestly. Like after. Playing WoW for as long as I have. I mean, that's when the reset happens. That's my reset for the week. <laughs> it just has been like that for years now, man. Found out how to out of Pandaria specific key scenarios. So there is a scenario that I was trying to do on my rogue earlier uh, earlier this week. Um, landfall that takes you to Darnassus. It kicks you out immediately. You actually can't complete it, which makes me really, really sad. Um... Let me get the music back up and running, boys, yeah? Let me do that real quickly. I'm a little, like, all over the place today. But I kind of want to raid if we can get a group together. I want to play some Paladin Healer. I started putting one together, just leveling. Leveling is so fast, by the way. You do a dungeon, you get, like, six levels out in a single dungeon. Like, holy, dude, it's crazy. 
once you got your cloak fully upgraded, which I don't even know if I got my cloak fully upgraded. I think it's like mostly upgraded, upgraded to an achievement. But yeah, it's wild, man. All right, so I also got my trinket. <laughs> this thing provides quite a few more stats. I'm still super, super low on item level in general. Like things are slapping me. Look at this, though, boys. Look what I got. I got the red version of these weapons, by the way. Red, dude, look at that. I unlocked those just from playing, by the way. I thought you had to buy them from the Pandaria guy. No, you just unlock it by playing the game, which I'm not really sure if that's intended or not. I think it is. But this guy right here, hold on, let me show you. This guy. Normally, it looks like you have to buy these. Apparently, you just earn them when you hit a certain level. Like, not a certain level, but uh, when you complete certain story quests. So I had to do Pandaria in order to get that one. It's actually really cool. I want to see if there's a raid out, man. Is there anybody raiding? Galleon? Yo, I kind of wanted a Galleon. And there's a Mythic Siege of Augramar. Hold on. Are people blasting through Siege? I kind of want to join Siege. I'm going to sign up. I doubt that I'll be able to get in, or at least I highly, highly doubt. But if I get into Siege, I think that'd be dope. This is a galleon real quickly. I need to... <laughs> can I get some? Can I get a summon? Because everybody should have the summon scrolls now, right? Pretty sure. If everybody's been banking. I've just been banking by red scrolls and summoning scrolls, man. <laughs> I actually kind of love that every class can summon and every class can res. You can battle res. I at least I haven't found that scroll yet. But <laughs> that's actually kind of nice. Oh, it's so good. It's actually so, so good. And we'll try to see... Yo, Jake, do you think we should maybe potentially try to make a group for a raid or something? Like Siege of Ogham or Normal, maybe? I imagine with the right class, you probably could do something with it, right? Can I not click on this? Also, where's Galleon? Can target you as Alliance outside of the instance? Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time Skippy. Hold on, I'll make one. I'll make a Stone of Summoning. There we go, there we go. Click me, boys, click me. There we go, dude, there we go. Yeah, Alliance and Horde are both in on this. Yeah, that will do it, man. That will do it. Hell yeah. Now, do we have to get the tag against Alliance here? Or how does this go? Because they're all Alliance, aren't they? Yeah, they're all Alliance. Wait, does that mean I can't get the tag? Or can I still get the tag? Do we have a tank? Okay, I'm gonna hope that I can still get the tag. I'm not sure if you can or can't. I'm just gonna hope you can get the tag. Find out. Uh, I need to figure out how to get up under myself also. God, dude, look at these weapons. It looks so good with this set. Oh, they fit so well. They actually fit super well. The red version and everything. I love it, man. It's so good. I definitely want to go for this. Also, it looks like you might have to do the whole, like, story stuff to get the weapons on each of your alts. Or is it like you get the achievement, but then you can just buy it with bronze for all the other characters? Corcoran Evoker and Feralath? Dude, Corcoran Evoker and Feralath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need to go and buy one of the mogs, man. I have been spending all of my bronze on, like, the... Not mogs, I've been spending all of my bronze on, like, gem upgrades and gear upgrades and stuff. Daggers of Sword? One is a sword. One on the right, on the left is a sword. On the right is a dagger. It looks like a sword, doesn't it, though? But no, that's a dagger on the side here. This one is a sword, the one's a little longer with like the orb in the middle. Because I'm running like offhand dagger, if I can help it. It's usually my better stats. Although I wish I would have kept like a blue weapon that gave me stamina and agi instead of just an agility weapon. Because then I'd be have a little bit more stamina to work with, but what else can you do, right? I figured out pretty late that you can kind of like, um, what is it? I figured out really, really, really late that you can, are we just going? Oh, he's going to die. Or is he? Or is he? Hold on, he's not dying. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, instant dead. Oh no, he's got a res. Unless somebody else wants to tank. Oh, he's just one-shotting people. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, I'm running. Unless we stunned him. What happened? Oh no, he's unleashing. He's just shooting. He's blasting. Yeah, we need a, a tank. Oh yeah, I'm running, dude. I'm not staying in here. Uh, can I just cut him in circles? Technically, I could, right? Get enough aggro and then just kite. Oh god, my health. 
Oh. What about the stomp? Okay, not that bad. I'm getting shot at. Oh, he's actually the quick. Uh, I need movement. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, he spawned ads too. Uh, I'm blinking. <laughs> I'm blinking out of here. I'm blinking. No, 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 no. Gally, come on. Come on, Gal. Come on. Come on. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. Why am I getting attacked still? I'm gonna run into more dudes. Uh, hi. Um, bye. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Gripping me. I mean, he is dying. He's going down. 70% health. I mean, if I could just keep kiting him, like, okay, that's not great. Uh, I need to die. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna die. Evasion? Just didn't keep running? He's still in melee range of me? Blink? Is, if we kill Gal with me kite tanking him like this, that'd be the funniest thing ever. Okay, that's not good. Uh, grapple? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what mounts could be used so for the mode you can technically use like while traversing this mode you can just drag on riding or any mounts for this mode or i ask him like what mounts can you um yeah you can drag and ride here if you want to i killed him earlier gal okay do we have a proper tank for gal because we need a tank man but an actual tank because this guy just charged in but hey some of them were alliance i'm horde and we were able to all get tags so that's really cool is it still alive oh he is Oh, um, can I stun Gal? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, you, you gotta run. I don't got evasion or nothing. Otherwise, I'd like close the gap. Yeah, you just gotta kite him. Oh God, what happened? Did I just get yoinked? Okay, now we're just dying. Now we're just dying. Am I a little closer? I'm still far away. I'm so far away. We gotta regroup and kill him again. Damn. I really wanna see if I can get a kill on the boss, just cause I wanna see what bosses drop, man. And besides like LFR bosses, I really would like to do heroic bosses or maybe even like a mythic boss or something. I think it'd be so fun. It says we have a tank, but guy's definitely not on. <laughs> guy's definitely not here. Can we get like Otarix to go tank or something? Pop a sword and board and just like hold aggro? Because I think we can kill him. We got him to, what, 70%? Is it still out? He's at 50%. He's at 50%. This guy is so killable. This guy is totally killable. It's actually kind of nuts. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna, all going to die, though. Okay, yeah. I mean, we're still in. Sort of. We're still in this. Okay, yeah. Now, now it's going to be bad. Impaling pole. Yeah, I'm just dead. Now we're dead. Now we're dead. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, can, can some can warrior go tank? Go um tank. Yeah, if the warrior can go tank, I think we'll be mostly fine. Oh if she also goes like healer or something. I think that could work too. Because we'll just expose the barrages that we got. I think we like we might just be able to kill him. Okay, my druid tank? Okay. Did it reset? Cause I don't. I just want him to go away. Use the force, young one, dude. I I need more than the force. I need more than the force to kill this thing. Wait, what is time runner's grip? Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> Titan Grip has been altered in this timeline. Strength reduced by 4,000. Stamina increased by 1,600. Haste. What is that? Why is his strength reduced so heavily? Is that just because weapons are that strong? I can't even inspect people, dude. Sucks that you can inspect people. Kind of hard to inspect people in this mode. Why is the Titan's Grip debuff on this man? Strength reduced by 4,000. I guess just because his weapons give him that much extra strength. Say he's got a lot of health. Jesus. I actually need a lot more gear and a lot more health than what I got going on right now, dude. Holy. A lot of health. 
I think we can still do this though. This is still very, very doable. Like if we just have somebody properly tanking, like he'll die. I wonder what this Alex got went though. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at that. You gotta be like a little netherworld. I never actually seen it. it looks kind of cool. It's got like a little like uh, lines in its belly or whatever. That's neat. All right, Jake, whenever you log in and whenever you join up, I'll see if I can toss it down to someone and hopefully it'll work well. I don't know if these guys can help me someone with them being an alliance or not. Also, there's a lot of alliance in this. Why is there so many so many alliance? Is there like barely any horror play in this mode or is it just like? I'm actually very surprised. There's just not a lot of I see a lot of orange uh, names above the people's heads. I barely see any hordies. I wonder if the lines gets like better dungeon cues then, because sometimes it feels like it's taking me forever to get dungeon cues. There's one hordy. One horde friend. Wait, is that you? Are you on Barney? Is that you? <laughs> Ahmad just can request for a group. You just gotta sign in, sign up for the uh, uh, LOG. Wait, are you Barney? Are you even going to be able to tank that thing? If that's you, I can invite you really quickly. <laughs> can I ask Barney to join via pre-made? I can suggest the invite. Here we go. Terror? Oh, that's you. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's get Terror in here. Now we're good. Wait, are you going to be able to tank him at 56? Level 56? I mean, if you want to try it. I'll go in with you. Yeah, if you go in, I go in. I'm ready whenever you are. It's killable 25. All right, hit it. I'm ready. I got boss uh, ticking down. I got tricks in you, but if I open, he's going to hit me immediately. I'm kind of waiting for you to taunt. <laughs> my buffs. No, five seconds. Okay, now no, don't go down. Don't go down. Now I got to wait for my buffs. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, you're just dead. Hold on. You need a healer. Or unless you heal yourself. All right, that's going to hurt. Oh, we got no resources. Hold on. Massive. Or rather, it still does cost resources. It's something else then. He's as good on big frontal. As long as you're literally not in front of him, you're chilling. And then for the ads, I'll try to trick him over to you, I guess. Because I don't want to get hit, if possible. Oh, he's stunnable. That's weird. So many bosses are now stunnable with right abilities. It's kind of wild. He's thumping? Okay. We got a Papa Sippy. Get a reroll. Okay, ow. Oh, I'm dead. Instantly dead. Yeah, I wasn't even targeting them. I guess maybe I had an ability to cleave them. Look at that warrior's damage. Crushing blows. I hit him for uh, 92k each. Lordy. And he's got Arcanist Edge, so I guess he's got, what, a shield build or something? Because that does a lot of damage. I guess he must have, like, a giga shield on him or something. Like, he's supposed to barrage. Wildfire, he got Sunstratus Flourish, Numbing, and then probably like a Giga Shield with Arcanus. That's mad. Wait, are you dead? Uh, wait, would this be better for you as a Feral then? So you can just rip the boss down? Or does it no longer like... Is it no longer OP? Okay, well, at least this guy is trying to hold. Wait, that's actually Paladin. Hold on, it's a tank pally. He's just soloing. We need to invite this man into the group if possible. I can't invite him. His alliance. We got it. Somebody got to invite him, but it's not like he could even heal anyway. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I vanish. I'm gonna try to see if I can draw aggro to you. That's a lot of ads. I just I don't want to deal with them. If I can help it. Yeah, let him draw to you. Or whoever is doing, whoever grabbing him up right now.
Get on barrage, we're chilling. We don't have to worry about nothing. Except the zoos on the sides. Do we lust this? Here we go, here's lust. We have hunters. Somebody lusts. Get Keel. I love it. He's dead? <laughs> World boss down, boys. Only took us a little bit of reses. <laughs> Extinction event? What does that give me? I don't even know what it gives me. I got pants and stuff. I don't think this gear is good, right? Nah, it's not an upgrade. You need to do like actual like harder content to get a real upgrades. Oh, the versatility gem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need those. Hold on, do I have enough? Do I have a versatility gem somewhere where I didn't mean to? Yes, I do. Hold on a second. Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Look at that. One, two, bap. Hold on. We also do one of these. And we do one of these. Right? Mmm, bap. Another legendary gem. Beautiful. I'm gonna drop it in here. Big stamina pants. And now I need to find other gems to put in here. What the hell am I gonna do? Prismatic. Uh, I have crit gem. I guess that's good. I can do mastery. Mastery can kind of do damage sometimes. How much damage was mastery? No, mastery fell off actually. Really, really hard. I need more, like, better gems. I can do crit, I guess. Speed, leech, hey, health regen. I guess none of these really that good, I'm gonna be honest here. I guess we'll do another crit. And then we do... I don't know, haste, I guess? I guess haste is better than nothing. Yeah. And I still need- oh, gems here too. This is why I'm like, dude, I need better gems. Alright, I think mastery will be my best second. I guess I could do haste here too, right? So if I do haste and I go into a, um, ambush build, then I think that could probably work. Yeah, I think I gotta redo amb into an ambush build. Who's trying to duel me? What the hell? You remove gems as you can. You can remove them. So you have this extract gem ability that lets you pick the gems out of the socket so it doesn't get consumed. It doesn't get deleted. Because normally you overwrite a gem that you have in a socket. But if you use this item, you can extract it and then replace it. It's like a very, very backwards way of doing it. And I've already killed a couple of gems by forgetting about this ability. But it's going to be like the most important ability to extract the gem out of a socket. You will need to use that every single time, man. Every single time. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I can bow out of here. I'm gonna make a- this is gonna be my, um, we call it a new build, but call this, uh, K- K-I-R- A-O-E dungeon build. Which is fine, and I'm gonna go, since I have a lot of haste in this character, I have like 27, which is a lot. I'm gonna make a, a ambush build. Hold on. No, ambush. Build. High. Haste. Because I have way too much haste because of my gems, so I'm just going to basically give up all the talents that give me, like, haste. So basically, I'll put two points into lethality. I mean, I could put a point into cold blood. Normally, you take one point into vigor, but I guess I'll do leeching poison. Because I have way too much haste. I don't even need that much energy regen. Uh, unless I do it like this without acrobatic strikes, but I kind of like acrobatic. Or I could do it like this. Yeah, that's probably a little better. And then here, I'll need to go into this. Um, that can go into mastery. This needs to go here. I guess that should go there instead. I don't necessarily need dance and steal. Yes, I do. Blade rush. That should solidify that. And I have one point of hidden opportunity. Do I do this? No, I still need that. Is it this that I switch out for? Summarily? I think it is summarily that I give up. And then I get Dance of Steel, but I can put it into Mastery, which I guess it doesn't really matter. Don't I normally want Heavy Hitter? Yes, usually. That should do it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. High Haste Ambush Build. There we go. When it says a broken feral tech with vanish gem, wait, really? Is there? Wait, hold on a second. I can guess what the tech is. Probably is the fact that you can just constantly stun, 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 or rake over and over, or shred. Basically, is incarnation, isn't it? Right? 
Hold on, what does the vanish gem do specifically? Allows you to vanish from sight, element stealth and combat for 10 seconds. Damage and home rule effects. Receive do not break stealth. Also breaks movement. What is the cooldown on this ability, by the way? Now nah, I want to know. Yes, spam stuns. What is the cooldown? How, can you just keep spamming? <laughs> Wait, you got a stealth window, right? Because you can just like... It's a stealth window that you get for a, a couple of seconds, isn't it? Hold oh, no, on, dude. That is nutty. All right, hold on. I want to try to see if I can join a mythic raid. Or maybe this one. I'm going to try to see if I can sign up for a mythic raid. I don't know. I, I really want to get a raid done. Try CJ Vagamar raiding, but I don't really know. <laughs> I'll try. Got to stream. Love you, Vids, man. What's up, Reliable Illness? I'll binge your deals here all the time. I hope you enjoy it, man. Duels are, I feel like they're just heating up. Oh, we got in. That's the one with the one tank. Yo, Jake, do you want to join and tank it? Or at least try to? You want to you wanna give this a shot? Hold on a second, I'm flying in. Hold on a second, I'm flying in. You want to try Siege of Agamar? Because <laughs> if you join in, I'm sure like if you join as a tank specifically, they'll take you. Because you only got one tank, unless they're solo tanking it. While in progress? Hold on, are they mid-fight? Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait a little bit then. Dude, the fact that there's no water here, oh, that's so weird. Okay, it's still encounter progress. Maybe they're killing ads or something. We'll find out. What's the new one you posted with Fire Mage? You gonna take Mage now? Dude, Mage has got a lot of better. You got a better mastery. You got better overall damage. Uh, Living Flame now actually does decent solid damage in PvP combat. And overall, the class is a bit more of like, it still does a much of a build up um, of cooldowns that you gotta play around. Um, like combustion, right? You still gotta play around CDs, but and your sustain damage, while not instantaneously good, you do have to build it up, build it up, build it up. That could, be, I, I think that could actually work out pretty well in general. It's, it's. What am I trying to say? I'm like all over the place. I'm kind of scatterbrained. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Fire Mage is still going to be very CD heavy, but if you can build up that mastery with just continuous damage back to back to back, it could do really, really well. It could do wonders. Uh, what from here chance of survive? Your character? Anything you collect in terms of transmog, any mounts or whatever, right? Those just added to your collection immediately. All those things are able to be added to your collection immediately. Are these guys finding stuff? Oh, this guy's running the ground into the thing? Oh, yo, he's got him with the uh, leech too? Yo, hold on a second. Can I get in? Or is it still gonna have to hit the drakes with the can of my man? What, what the hell is it? Come on. Draenor's landing. So they killed a couple of bosses and they own like that one, um, the uh, dragon boss with the boats. Are they still fighting stuff? Okay, it looks like they're still fighting stuff. I'm gonna hope that we can get a summon whenever they, uh, what is it, get a, give us a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm also trying to get him in. It's not letting me. Uh, I'm a PvP newbie, but I love this series. It's actually taught me a few cool things about classes that are used for PvE too. You know what? Actually, I think learning PvP skills actually helps a lot of players within PvE combat. Like, I've known a couple of players that PvP, like back in Mob, back in WOD, back in Legion, right? They developed that good play style, like the good um, reactions to damage taken by their group from PvP, and they're able to apply it within dungeons and raids, and actually they were able to perform pretty well. Like, this one guy basically just collected a bunch of PvE gear, but didn't really PvE that much right just kind of chilling mostly pvp in and then he got invited to like a raid i was like i was a newbie at the game completely a newbie and he didn't have nearly the same gear or as good a gear as everybody else at the time but his like reaction time was really good compared to everybody else that plays for pve right because they're looking at the timers he's looking at everybody's held bars he's looking at his cooldowns and he's trying to make decisions in the moment and he was actually more effective than they were at healing just in general, he's blowing him out of the water. He doesn't have that good a gear. He just, I guess, snipe and heals, but like his reaction time in general is just miles better. So PvP uh, skills, I feel like translate into PvE better than PvE translating into PvP. With some exceptions. Why is it still not letting us in? Hold on. <laughs> okay, so you can kind of like maybe go here. It's, yeah, you have to like run up the ramp. I to like try to enter. Okay, I'm going to guess that fair... Uh, Felera and Ruzalak, they gotta die and then we can walk in maybe. I'm just gonna wait for Ruza to die. Hold on, maybe now we can go? Hold on. Okay, now we're in. Now we're in. 
Does anyone want to help me gang paya? I don't know if I want to gang paya. I'll think about it, but I don't know if I want to gang paya. Is that the same Draenei from Earth? No, it's not. Or is it? That might be the same. No, that's a Tarix. This is Astic, so it's a different Draenei in general. All right, dude, I haven't been here in a while, by the way, so I don't remember any of this at all. At all. So I'm just going to try to see if we can play up to, I guess, an ambush build. Because we got all this haste, so I'll try to make it work. I really wish I had weak auras, though. Really wish I had weak auras. I wonder if I still have time to, like, get a weak aura or two. <laughs> I really want to get my vanished weak aura just to, like, track it. I think that would be very, very helpful. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can. Hold on. Let me try. Let me see. I love all, but I have such a weird uh, time sticking to one character as a main DPS. When I see classes do better, I want to switch to that spec. You just got to find the spec that sings to you, man. That's all you got to do. You just got to find that one playstyle that just sings to you. Just something you like, not particularly because it is strong, but because you just have fun playing it. You know, I think that's the only way to really like, um, that's the only way to really like, <laughs> wait, do I already have weak auras? Oh, no, this guy. No, so it's, then it's this one then. Yeah, yeah, get add-ons and we got weak auras. Weak auras for this one. Cool. Sorry, just trying to download my weak aura real quick just so I can have an easier time because tracking subterfuge and shadow dance is a nightmare with so many buffs on outlaw. It is wild, man. It is wild. Okay, so I should hopefully be able to find the one weak aura from... What's his face? Trinket changes... Preliminary S4 info. Outlaw Rogue FAQ. Can I get a weak aura? More resources. Um. Here we go. Uh, copy import string. Export. Beautiful. What does it go? I don't like that. Is there a different version of this? Ooh, it's a bar. Ooh. I don't like it. Well, I guess that could work, right? But like... Where to put it? I guess that could work. But I kind of want an icon version instead of like a bar, but whatever. As you see, you have crack shot window. I guess. Yeah, I just wanted like an icon version of that if I could. Wait, did we start this already? I did hear yelling. Yeah, I think this has already started. Did it? Or is it just like RP playing out? I'm not even sure. I really like the look of Evoker Hero Talents. So I'm gonna try main and dev. Yeah, go for it. I think you just gotta find a playstyle that fits you in terms of like the feel, in terms of the basic gameplay, and then try sticking to that one character. I think Evoker is a fantastic choice, man. I think for uh, 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 I think Devastation, I guess Devastation, right? Or Augmentation, whichever one you choose, or even Prez. All of them look really, really good, and they're really fun. They have a lot of mobility. You don't have to worry about like standing still while casting. That does take a little bit of time to get used to it. Oh. Wait. They're here. Okay, uh, for some reason I thought... Okay, they're just skipping. Okay, they're just skipping that boss. All right, all right. So apparently that kind of thing doesn't work. But this guy works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we supposed to play Aug like big numbers? Yeah, I feel that. I think some of the, com the commander and the other one for dev are all looking really really good by the way those hero specs are looking really really nice man those look great yeah those look awesome pvp will teach you how to kick properly in pve true that is very very true very true no loot 60 yet all good all good <laughs> all right we'll try to see man if we live here that's all i'm trying to do man i don't remember the mechanics of this guy at all whatsoever Boar, Driller, Ricochet, Iron Juggernaut launches saw blades and sarm causing physical damage to players that come in contact with blades. There's a verge ricochets between distant players. Okay, so don't be in between the drills if you can. Laser burn, everything here is going to hurt. Yeah, I barely have enough health to live any of this. So it's just going to be pain for me. Pain until we can get better gear out of this. Alright, we're just going to give it a shot. Just going to go in. Hopefully things will die really quickly. I'll try to see if I can get myself like a big setup combo. Maybe I'll just hit it with Oblivion Sphere in the opener, which I probably should, right? 
Probably should set it up off the bat like that. Alright, Bryce, whenever you go in, man. Okay, so I can check the bar. That's fine. That's a way to do it. Ow. Is it cleave? My cleave. What the hell killed me? Laser beam, demolish a cannon. That just hits me for 431. It just one shots me. It just. <coughs> <coughs> it just one shots me. Okay. I mean, Infernal Kabush. Jesus, Infernal Kabush. Infernal Kabush does a lot of damage. Wait, these guys could just carry this. You just need more Duster Warlocks and Feral Druids. Warlock's dead. Yeah, all this is kind of scuffed. Everything here is just so scuffed. How would I ever survive Demolition Cannon? Does this just randomly fire damage? Oh, that's a big saw blade. Yeah, that would do it. Can I survive? Is there a way to dodge Demolition Cannon? Or is that just one of those things that will randomly just target a player? Ricochet Mortar Cannon, right? Fires at a random player. Yeah. Uh, inflicted fire damage to enemies within 8 yards of a blast. Was I standing and stuff? Was that a dodgeable or what? 1.5 flame judge Jesus. Yeah, everything here just hits super hard. But if you got a bunch of warlocks, look at the damage they're doing, dude. Look at the damage they're doing. How's he mate? What's up, Anthony? How you doing, guy? Trying to see if we can get ourselves a... Uh... Oh, you go around? Okay. Trying to see if we can get ourselves a kill. <laughs> it's Siege of Agrima Mythic in the uh, time running pandemonium event. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Is this how we gonna skip over? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can just kind of follow these guys, right? Is that how they're gonna get around? Shadow step. And I can maybe grapple at some point, hopefully. Oh, this guy's just flying, yeah. Hold on, I need 12 seconds until a thing. I can blink that. Oh, wait, hold on. You know what? If I get heroic leap on my abilities, I can probably get around, right? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Big brain plays chat. Hold on. Heroic leap, where are you? Uh, d -d 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 where, where am I? Disengage. Shadow step works still, right? Do we just get around? Is that it? Is all you gotta do is just go down now? Are we good? Okay, they're already summoning. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I need to put Blink back on there. I don't even know if I should put Blink. I feel like I should put Dark Pack, man. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna put a Dark Pack and hope I live. <laughs> oh my god. That's how this is going so far, dude. So far, I mean, so far things are going good. You know, Ruzak over here is doing a billions, millions of millions of damage to this boss. That has like five, two billion health. So, hopefully, he'll be able to carry it. Do the rogues have anything that causes us to do, like, billions of damage, by the way? Do rogues have any talent like that? Because I haven't seen rogues with anything like that at all. Like, Outlaw at least doesn't have anything busted. I'm wondering if I should maybe switch over to Assassination. You gonna go all about the Warlocks? Yeah, not a bad idea, honestly. Not a bad idea. We probably do need a healer, but we got two, so I don't really know. Should I try assassination just to see if there's like a, a busted because I haven't looked to see if there's any damage anything I could exploit I mean at this point like we just try to kill bosses so if I can do more damage than my measly um, 25k with oblivion sphere I think like anything helps right anything helps I imagine although oblivion sphere to buff up the warlocks is not the worst idea uh, maybe I could use some other gems in general to buff up my warlocks instead like even haste 70% haste? Hmm. I wonder. Or maybe Tireless Spirit just to give my party like endless amounts of um, casting? I'm not really sure. Yo, because my spec doesn't really have anything busted that I could bring to the table at the very least. So I'm thinking maybe try Assass, but like, I don't really know, like, what build I would even run. I don't think, think you even have another dagger. Okay, so tune in, have you read some of the notes, some of the big addition differences just to get challenge mode dungeon gear? So as for the challenge modes, 
it doesn't look like they're on the vendors. That being said, Blizzard may reconsider it. Nothing has been set in stone or anything like that. We have no idea if they are going to be able to, or if they are going to be bringing in um, challenge mode stuff or whatnot. I have no idea, right? It still is up in the air. But it doesn't. It's not in on PTR. They're not adding it in yet. Um, they may not add it ever. Who knows, right? That just might be our reality. Uh, as for like the other stuff, let's see. Challenge modes, dungeon gear. Yeah, that's not in. Challenge modes themselves are not in on the uh, Mr. Pandaria remix mode either. Like all the other content is in besides like the legendary cloak questline and the um, and the challenge mode stuff. So big additions. I guess everything Pandaria offers besides those two things specifically. Does Assassin have any dot consumption? I don't know if it has dot consumption. I know you have death mark, which allows you to duplicate dots. Uh, I know you got an ability that causes dots to like tick again with um, what's it called? It's a, it used to be a sun demise. It was another talent. They changed the name of it a couple of times. It used to be a sanguination, but I think it's sanguinated veins now. Dark consumption is what make it feral. Uh, took all of the damage. That's why. Yeah, I don't think we have anything that makes our dot consume or tick out faster. Or anything like that. At least, I don't think so. I know we have stuff to double our dot damage. Or double up our all dots, but that's about it. Hmm. I wonder if it should go like even more defensive, just so I can like live stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> like super defensive and everything. I might have to, man. I might actually have to. I like Fervor and stuff, but I'm not doing any damage compared to these guys. Yeah, Doc Consumption with Infernal. Yeah. I don't think so. Does Subtlety have anything like that? No. No, I don't think so. What's with the runes? So these are not uh, kind of like runes. Like, they're kind of like SOD runes, but not really. They're gems, but they function similarly. But instead of like giving you very specific like abilities, they're kind of like mostly passive abilities. Some of them are active. Like for example, I got an ability called Oblivion Sphere where I can just create a void orb that explodes and enemy takes 50% more crit damage. Works for the rest of my raiding party. Dark Pack where I could literally get the Warlock's Dark Pack as an ability. The rest of them are usually like passive, such as like damage builds up a hailstorm that eventually rains down on target or explosive barrage abilities can just randomly fire off fire burn the enemy while horrifying them. Uh, we got ourselves. Auto attacks just randomly hit multiple times in a row. Pop in a drone rush causes a storm overlook to stun the boss. Fervor takes a bit of my health but does damage to the boss the entire time. Um, we got wildfire which randomly spreads wildfire and spreads to multiple enemies if any around. Meteors randomly drop in. Every time I stun target I get a bunch of crit. Um, more hit an enemy they become brittle and then when they die 10% of all the damage I've done to them. Exposed to everybody else and starts flourish is like when I crit more fire damage when enemy is low I use my health to basically do my health what my entire health to just instantly damage the enemy below 10% health So it's like an execute ability and the rest of them are like gems to give me the stats and I can kind of like Customize my gear a little bit, but you have to find these gems take smaller gems Combine together into better gems take those better gems combine together into purple gems take three purple gems combine together into legendary gems and you're trying to kind of like gem yourself out Bling yourself out as much as you can. I'll go blue for to moon, Raz go purple. Okay, we actually do it strats. I like it, I like it, dude. <laughs> I like it, I like it. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 how the system works. And you also have gear that can basically be infinitely leveled, right? Once you find the items you want with the stats you want, you can just keep them forever. And use a new currency called bronze, which you earn from literally doing everything in the game. Literally everything, just for breathing even. You could use it to upgrade gear and basically it's like an infinite way to upgrade your items to the highest possible levels if you want to keep grinding or if you want to do like harder content get higher item levels boost everything else to that level no tier sets no tier sets but the ability is basically almost like craft your own tier kind of thing and there's a bunch of abilities too right tinker uh tinker 
there's a lot of abilities like some do dot damage some give you shield some give you shields while also give you the haste abilities that will consume a portion of your shield to do damage when enemies die you just they erupt in fire healing allies the shield that refreshes every so often shield ability that shields allies every time you take damage you gain your primary stat portion of all your healing becomes damage portion of all your damage becomes healing to your party a party buff to give everybody haste and movement speed a leech for the rest of your party grounding totem which will ground the next ability that's magical otherwise they're given 90 percent damage reduction um static charge standing still makes you call as a static charge moving heals and damages enemies heals allies damages enemies lightning rod enemy can randomly get struck by a rod any damage due to them will then spark off to everybody else a bunch of abilities one that gives everybody in your party resources every few seconds uh, resurrection with onk so when you die you gotta cheat death like you could really customize your build in any way you want to and that's kind of and also you have the meta gems too which are like the big abilities as well right become new azawa big shockwaves everywhere or become chiji and just jump around and heal allies while damaging enemies create a storm that damages enemies healing allies become a lightning orb basic almost immune to damage almost not quite zap and everything around you uh share basic a spirit link with everybody at all times take 20 percent of their damage or healing you can actually give me true you can give these things you can trade gems what no shot no shot you can trade gems no way you could just trade gems that is messed up oh we going okay i don't think i'm ready but we're gonna try i didn't know you could trade gems like that wild Oh, I don't have the right uh, stuff, by the way. But we are killing. We are killing the boss. Yeah, I don't have the right ability in my bar. Which kind of blows. Dark pack. Yeah, that saw blade is going to just kill me. Ricochet also hurts a lot, too. Yeah, I just don't have a lot of survivability for this. <laughs> I'm just a utility bot right now, huh? I mean, we got, we got the boss at 27 percent health. We just gotta do the same, right? Go away from the bombs. Why am I doing Destro exactly? Destro, big dammy. Maybe I should try assassination. See if that got any busted stuff in there. Is it hard to get mounts and trader? Do you think all the mounts from trader? You mean from the uh, new mode trader? Not necessarily. To give you an idea, like how much bronze can you earn? With like how much grind you have to do to get bronze? If you, I don't know exactly how much bronze you get for like a raid, unless it's a Lafar, which is quite a lot actually. Or dungeons, scenarios, it's quite a bit. I don't know exact number, but I feel like I always was swimming in a bunch of um, bronze. I feel like getting a 20,000 bronze is very, very easy. But I haven't really got to like fully mess with it or try it out, you know, in that regard. But to give you a better idea, a more uh, conclusive number... Oh, he's almost dead. 6%? Dude, we got him next pull. Yeah, we got this next pull. 100%. Hold on a second. So we just gotta find a way around this again, yeah? Hold on, let me also slide this gem in real quickly. Holy man, that is wild. If I could just give me these versatility. You got any more versa gems? Even like the very basic ones? Because I'll take them. I'll take them off your hands. You can get about 10,000 bronze. Just for doing an entire storyline of like Thunder Isle or Landfall. Uh, and it's basically like a lot of like menial tasks of like you fly to a place and then that's really it. You just fly to a place. Oh, they shoot you. Can I? Okay, they shoot you if you get too close. Got it. Although this guy's getting around. Oh, those, oh, those guys over there though. Wait, do they just like res there? <laughs> no, they just spawn there. There we go. Maybe we should try. I can't even try assassination. Okay, let me do this though. Let me swap ambush on my bars just so I can actually have the button. Uh, what else could I do cooldowns wise or ability wise? I feel like I should try going like super tanky just to see if I live, right? Because at least if I live, maybe I could do a mechanic or two, right? Maybe I could do stuff. What is doing the least amount of damage for me right now? So Wildfire is doing a lot. I believe in Sphere does a bit. Fervor does all right. Um, Incendiary Terror, not as much. Numbing Cold, not as much. Meteor Storm. Okay, so Numbing Cold, Meteor Storm. Those can go for now. 
it's everything is kind of all over the place chat i'm trying to keep up with everything right i'm trying to keep up with everything you guys are saying too uh meteor storm uh and we'll try going for like tinker gems tinker but yeah if you do like about a full storyline of thunder king which is like it's about five minutes per scenario maybe less and it's like six scenarios for you to go through Ten thousand bronze right there and if you're just playing the game and you're mostly just farming bronze for the sake of just getting bronze to buy stuff or if you don't spend any bronze and gems to begin with or abilities or anything like that which is not necessary you get a lot of gems and abilities just as you play as you level you could probably come out with about 30 40 60 thousand or so bronze by the end of it i think um let's see i could try grounding so i can like magic damage take it by 90. yeah i'll try this and also do this i'll drop the uh, opportunist for a shield uh not what i meant to do for a shield apply listen i'm gonna pop another shield apply brittle i don't need because he's not really gonna die or i don't really need brittle for the explosion effect and what i could do here is either do leech i could do res with onk i could maybe do resources for party Whose party am I in? Okay. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, a grounding for the party and then resources. That'll probably do it. At least some utility bot. Honestly, the main thing I want is alts and have any other class serpent. I mean, that one you can buy easily. And also, alts if you want to level a bunch of them. Your main, as you level your main, you'll be able to upgrade your cloak. The time runner's advantage, the cloak that you get to wear for this. By the time you're done getting your character to level 70, which is going to be like maybe two days if you are playing pretty regularly, um, you have, what, 162% experience gain bonus on that main character. And when you switch over to an alt character, right, to an alt, you get um, to keep the same benefits of that cloak. Like some of the secondary stats will have to scale to like your character's low level so you're not gonna get like 300 haste or anything or 371 leech but yeah you'll get to keep the 162 percent xp so after you do the main character main main leveling all of your alts are going to be able to benefit from xp and as your alts do stuff in the game as you do anything in the game as you kill stuff loot stuff kill bosses do dungeons to get threads threads like a invisible currency that basically goes into upgrading your cloak and then it boosts your cloak to different levels. You'll earn thread as you level and do stuff on your main. And then you go to your alts, you get to keep the bonuses of the cloak, most of them, as a scale with your level. But the experience gain will be full. You'll get to keep that. And your alts will also be able to earn more thread as they do stuff. So you'll keep upgrading the cloak as an account wide buff. So then your first character you level, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you're gonna get it done in two days. Your next character is gonna go by faster. And the next character is going to go by even faster. And the one after that is going to be even faster because all of them keep adding to that experience gain for the account white cloak. All of them do. So it's going to be interesting. Ready want super? Okay, hopefully super is able to go for big bleeds. Ready? All right. I'm going to do this. Bicep is first. I'm going to drop down the orb and we're just going to ham. I missed my ability. I missed one of my talents. That's unfortunate. Put a dark pack immediately because I don't feel comfy. Blades, we dodged it. Not dodged it, but we did avoid it. The saw blade. That was uh. That could have been bad. Okay, we can't stun the boss, which is unfortunate. But I'd eat one of the bombs. Most of us are alive and he's dying, so we're okay. That nature sequence, I think, is gonna kill us, maybe. Okay, cheat death. Top blade is out again. Don't know where it went. Dodged it. I don't even know how we dodged it. It's coming back. Is it chilling over there? I'm gonna have to take it. I don't know if that's worth, but 
I guess me dying is better than Warlock's dying. Super is dead though, which is unfortunate. Ruzak is still alive though. Super did not play the bleed thing, did he? Oh, kind of, sort of. He died really, really early though. Hold on, 7%? Two Warlocks? One Warlock's life? Feral and Warlock maybe could carry? Please! Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't think my stat thing, my uh, resource thing helped anything. Our group died and stuff, so I'm just gonna run. We did it! Oh, Iron Juggernaut dead, boys! <laughs> we got one! Got one! Can we get the next one? That is the question. I wanna see if I got any loot out of this. Desert damage? Yeah, Desert's got a bug right now. It's doing a lot of damage with internal. Any talent that does dot consumption is like overpowered right now. But yeah, it just gives us like an ability to just have some fun with it anyway, right? Oh! An axe? Yo! What the hell? It's so. Oh, it's not even high item level. I mean, I'll keep it. I'll be able to upgrade it. But look at that axe. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to be able to go upgrade it. I'm okay with that. Sad that it's got a low item level, but hey, there it is, man. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me adjust my abilities a little bit here, yeah? What is this? Did I do a thing? Oh, no. Hold on. Let me do a slash reload. Um, let's go, dude. Let's go. First boss kill of the night. Uh, let me adjust this talent. Apparently, it's already in. I didn't realize. Are they dying? Uh oh. Um, I want to do this. I want to adjust one of my talents here. The one that gives resources to everybody, yeah, I, that whole I, my whole party was dead for that. So tinker gem, tinker, tinker, tinker. I could drop in damage becomes group healing maybe. Onk, I'll do onk just so I can have two reses, two cheat deaths. I think it's gonna be good. All right, all these things are probably gonna one shot us, right? The boss hurt a lot, man. I think we're supposed to have a bunch of gear from what is it? Supposed to have a bunch of gear from the other older raids or even higher item level than we have now. Because everything here hurts. Everything hurts. <laughs> everything. This is going to be back in version of War. Dude, it does actually feel really, really good. I, I do like that. I will agree with you on that. I'm having a lot of fun right now. This is ridiculously fun. I can't interrupt them. Somebody got a stun. Good. Oh, the earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Poison Totem, we probably need to find a way to deal with that easily. Oh, man. Also, Jake, if you have, do you have any versus... Yeah, Jake, do you have any gems you want? I'll trade you. I'll trade you. I'll give you whatever stat you want and wh however much I have for your versatility gems. Would you take that trade? Like, after we're done clearing this uh, whole space out. I'll trade you. Stun all of them. I do love the fact that my drone rush could stun them, by the way. That's so cool. I love that. Out of all the gems I've gotten, that is my favorite one. Just because her drone rush is like off cooldown so often for me. Okay, that guy insta died. <laughs> Back then, this is really hard. Rest of Shaman. I like this raid really hard. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember like really doing too much of this place. Back in Siege of Agrima or back in Mop. I know I ran it, I just don't remember if I had like a proper guild or anything for it back in the day. I don't think I did. Let me stun him real quick. Nice. Chip diamond, that's exactly what I need. Chip versatile diamonds. Jump say tradable in PTR? Yeah, I, I wonder. I wonder. That That's a good question actually. I think it would make it much easier to like itemize amongst your guildies or whatever. If you could trade them, right? Because I could just like give my leech gems to my healer. But if you can give me the versatility gems, like I'll be ha more than happy. But I feel like that will create a market where people will start buying gems. But I don't know if that's a bad thing really either. Right? Because you have gold on this, but you don't really have any reason to spend it. And if you get... I, I, gold doesn't even matter, I guess, does it? I guess you do get to take the character eventually to live realms. But it's going to be a bit. Let's stun them all. Oh, that stun is so good. Look at that warlock, dude. Look at that warlock, yo. Look at my damage. I actually can do something sort of kind of, as long as you're not fighting a single boss. I can kind of do stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah, give me leech gems. Okay, I can give a leech. Let me do this. Uh, where are my leech gems? Prismatic, right? Prism. Prismatic gems. I got the big leech stamina. I got the, um... So that's the red one, right? I have this as a leech. 
Okay, I put my leech off to the side for ya. Let me know if you want him. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Here we go. Yeah, I'll take whatever versatility gems you got. Even though that's all you got, I'll take it. That's 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 plenty. Gems are probably gonna get depreciated uh, after the event. Oh yeah, no, gems are gonna go away, I'm pretty sure, once the event is gone. But it's like the gold, right? Gold right now just doesn't really have like any usage in the mode. Just because there's not a lot of stuff to buy gold uh, on for gold. It's not like you have all the consumables for raids and stuff you buy with bronze. That is like the currency right now. But yeah, I, I wonder if the gems are going to be like tradable. But like, what are people going to trade gems for, right? Uh, give me a leech. Uh, 200% leech with that gems. That is a lot of leech. That is a ton of leech. Question is, that's a lot of leech. But like, are you even going to be able to do anything with that leech? You know what I want to do? I kind of want to take one of my gems. Maybe like this one and switch it out with the um, just for the value sake. I want to switch it out with this one gem, Arcanist Edge, because this consumes a portion of my absorbs to do damage. So since I have so many absorbs on my character, double absorbing with the uh, fire and the frost shield, maybe then I'll be able to squeeze some damage out this way while still keeping myself safe and lively. If you can install gem for gem services, do you imagine you'll pay on retail, right? Retail gold to get a gem on uh, the new mode. That'd be hilarious, man. That'd be hilarious. Is he going to pull him out? I think he's ready for it, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got to kill the dogs first, I guess. I'm going to assume yes. I'm going to target something. Oh, they're dying really quick. Oh, uh, geyser. I don't know how to deal with it. I'm just dying. Yeah, I don't think we can actually deal with the geyser. I'm just going to attack him then. Go to price evasion just in case. It's fire. It seems bad. Yeah, that uh, shadow thing does not seem like the play. I, th I think it's like a stay away from that kind of moment. Big tombstone? What is that? What is this tombstone? Oh, they're dead. Except warlocks and ferals kind of died really, really early. He's targeting me. I'm just going to take it super far away. Oh, it's a line? Okay. I'm dead? They got like 3% health, man. They got 3% health. Oh, man, dude. We almost got him, too. Did I just pull aggro on, uh, like, ads or something? Is that what happened? Yo, what? Brittle? Wait, Brittle is actually really good here, huh? Yeah, I guess the dogs do end up dying, huh? Okay. Maybe I adjust to Brittle. Arcanus Edge actually did a lot of damage. Look at that shield. Look at that. That's actually value. I think I almost want to swap out Fervor. I'll keep it for now. But look at that Edge, dude. The Arcanus Edge is actually doing work. Especially if I can get like a big shield from other sources to him. In today's news, Blizzard accidentally makes the Diablo Immortal gem debacle. And wow, imagine, man. Imagine. I think I might have pulled those guys there. Yeah, I might just want to clear him. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I think we're chilling now. Unless we want to kill these guys too. Probably get them as well, yeah? I will grab them all. There's so much to cleave here. I almost want to go my full cleaver build, but I know that I can't. Okay, we're doing bosses, I guess. I'm a little afraid. Not gonna lie. Yeah, they're all piling out of nowhere. Don't know where those guys even came from. Hold aggro. Huge. Almost got my uh, stun. Group stun. Almost got evasion too. Got evasion. So we got defensives in case I get attacked. Kill those guys. 5%. Give them close. Take them out of the smoke. 2%. Percent, one percent, kill him. Nice. Uh, or now, 
Please? One more hit? One more hit? Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. And you got cloaks? Or oh, is that a chest piece? Look like triple Oh I need that. Can I have please? Wait, it's got a purple? Oh, that's so good looking. 46 item level. We got gloves! Oh! Oh, they're crit too! Oh, that's so good! They're just not high enough item level. I don't even care. I need them. Oh yeah, we got these, dude. Hell yeah. I'm gonna try to see if we can put the stuff that are in here. I'm gonna need to go and upgrade them. Also, we got quite a bit of bronze out of this too. Just for doing this, we got quite a bit of bronze. So you can earn quite a bit of bronze just for like doing stuff in the game. I like that. Electrify ground, that hurts by the way. Although 90% uh, damage reduction with grounding is kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that is busted. <laughs> shamans are no more? Yeah, shamans are gone. Get them out of here, get the trash out. Oh, I can stun these guys? Oh, they're so easy then. I didn't know stuff here could be stunnable. Oh, these guys, oh, this is a problem that's stunnable, right? These guys, I remember hurting. Blind cleave. Oh, the, oh okay. Ow. Blind strike. Oh god, uh, I kind of want to avoid them because I guess just kind of cleaving in any direction. Can stun the, can stun them. They're actually immune. All right. <laughs> While we got these ferals and uh, druids, though, I think we're gonna be fine <laughs> by the looks of it. <laughs> 10k leech, that's so good. Are we keeping that guy here? Sap him? No, oh, he's immune. All right, we just avoid him. And then we got Gammon here. Yeah, we got ourselves rune tack. And we gotta take down the demolishers. I'm gonna go after the demolishers. I wonder how all this is gonna feel like. Like once you don't have the whole ferals and all these other classes just like dominating damage wise and one shot at things. This would be fun to go through this. Everything was fine. I think maybe they just gotta hit them so hard. I'm dying. I'm dying. Bonecracker, I'm dead. Unless you get a heal. But you death proc? Eh, wait. Onk? Okay. Well, I'm dead, dead, dead. Can somebody get me? <laughs> Help. Bonecracker hurts. Press, please. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. That works. We're like right here. Nice. I didn't figure. I didn't realize there was a checkpoint here. So, which we could get the Corcoran Tabard Cape and Shoulders. Is there a Corcoran Tabard Cape and Shoulders? I never knew there was a thing. Hold on. What does it look like? Corcoran Tabard, Corcoran Cape, Corcoran Shoulders. You mean like what the uh, like the guards of uh, Garrosh's guards wear? Is that what you mean? Or oh, these guys you mean? Is there a Corcoran, but maybe not the same Corcoran you're thinking of. So we're getting a lot of gems here too. Uh, uh, Tell your locks a party heal. Do they actually party heal? Hold on. If they actually get like a portion of your damage, uh, does healing. That actually would be kind of nuts, huh? So they're doing an insane amount of damage and then convert that into group healing. That'll probably be insane, huh? And then convert that healing into damage to double dip. And then you triple dip. And then you quadruple dip. And then you just dip it for dipping. You just dip when you dip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And hopefully I'll have my, um, what is it? I believe in Sphere back up before the boss. About down for a minute. You mean these guys? These guys with the shoulders? Because I feel like those pieces of gear are in the game somewhere. Go wrong though. Hold on, Iron Storm? Yeah, we stunned that. Yeah, we stunned that. We stunned that every time. <laughs> everything just died. Okay, everything was kind of okay and then just consumed. Lordy. Lordy. Nazgum over there, dude. What does Nazgum even do? He like summons dudes, doesn't he? Pretty sure he summons a bunch of guys. Do, 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 do. Summoning. I'll just drop down a solo summoning. Pause it. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. What item loves the cloak, by the way? For me, right now, it is 4, 346. But, like, all my gear is a little bit ahead of 346. Do I ever buy the same item as everybody? No, actually, I don't. Does he have stamina or something? I have about the same item level as some of these other guys, but not all of them, because they have been upgrading gear. This guy has a million health. I don't know how. He's got a million health. I. He must have like. I must have been gearing his character and popping all of his gear. Then. 
<laughs> this guy got a million. This guy got a million. Yeah, they must have been pumping their gear for quite a bit. Crazy. Dude is full 426 plus. Really? That is wild. Because I know you can keep upgrading these items over and over as long as you got bronze. I kind of want to do that after doing this run. I don't know how far we're going to get. Imagine if we get the full run, dude, and get Garrosh. That'd be hilarious. Barrel on the boss? Yo, hold on a second. Send him to hell. Hold on, I want to do it. Oh, wait, we're going in. Never mind. Can't do it anymore. Hold on, I want to crit them all. Yep, nice, huge. We should have crit buff rolling. Didn't brittle the boss. That's okay. Maybe we did partially. Yeah, didn't really brittle the boss. It's okay. It's nice and nice. Damn, fire. Stay away from that. Because that is literally going to one shot. What a dark pact. Oh, he's dead. Loot. Okay, we got a belt. That's pretty good. It's speed, not a crazy, crazy stat. But so far, it's pretty good. We got an item. Full. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a boss right there. Or a boss. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I did like no damage, man. No damage at all. Arcanus Edge. Thundering Orb. Maybe I should have just done Orb or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Outlaw Rogan Pandaria? It is an Outlaw Rogan Pandaria. Yeah, old school combat days, man. I do miss them, though. It does feel like blasphemy to a play in combat rogue. I feel like if you are going to play anything, you probably play like Assassin Sub. Because at least those were more or less similar. Probably Assass is the only one that th saved closest to it. Mythic Raid, by the way. Okay, we wouldn't be doing this raid if we didn't have two Warlocks, uh, uh, three Warlocks, five Warlocks doing the Infernal Combustion build, and Pharaohs doing Tear Open Ruins build, right? This just wouldn't be happening. We're literally just getting carried right now. It's just because Blizzard kind of broke some of these abilities. I don't think it would actually realistically be able to do Mythic Siege of Agamar otherwise. Or... You need a lot more gear and a lot more of an organized group to be able to effectively do this place, but yeah. We would not be doing this if it wasn't for some cheesy, cheesy doodles kind of kind of stuff here. Do I have all my shields, by the way? Do I have that other shield? Is this another shield that's 70% of my health? That's also really, really good. Or did I remove it? Yeah, I don't have Tink Master's shield. Hold on. I kind of want to replace one of my stuff for Tink Master's. I feel like my Ankh and Cheat Death are a little bit too much overlapping with one another. Tell you what, I think I may give up Slay just because I'm not really getting that much execute value. And I'll replace Slay with the Tink Master Shield. So that's an extra shield that'll give me even more Arcanist Edge, like shield damage. Just a little more. What feels like season four? Dude, it does feel like Diablo. I will agree with you there. I will agree with you. Of course, things are not going to die this instantaneously. But yeah, this mode does have this like randomness to it, like as if it's Diablo. Okay, I'm going to stun him and give you guys a big gaming buff. Hold on, I can almost stun again. Good stun. A drama stun. I can only like assist right now. Is this some rage? It's not a rage. I thought maybe I could like shiv it. I don't know. I'm running shiv. But yeah, this is definitely. I feel like it's got. It does have that vibe, like it's seasonal content. I do like it in general. Like this whole uh, getting gems and gearing up a character, right? It's a very similar feel, but like the gems make the whole experience a little different. It's like different enough where it's like unique and really, really cool. I love it, man. It's actually so much fun. And in most groups, whenever there aren't like warlocks or ferals that are just one-shotting everything, I generally do pretty good damage. Like the dungeons that I ran so far. Should be all coming up on another boss here, right? I miss Blink, by the way. I like having Dark Pack as a defensive is probably better, but I miss Blink really, really badly. Vampiric Aura with Leech. Yo, that's so much Leech, actually. Jesus, 32. That is a lot of Leech. Gonna stun him real quick. I 
and I've been seeing so many other people uh, talking about this mode, like, a lot of the times people, when they mention this mode, they're like, I can't stop playing it, this is actually so fun. Like, it's just here for a limited time on PTR, but it's ridiculously fun. I'll try to see after this if I can go and uh, upgrade this, upgrade this, that would be some fantastic stats. Not like it matters anymore, but it's just like, it would just be nice to have like a, a trophy to bring out of here. Upgrade my gear a little bit afterwards. Don't know if you're gonna pull, I'm just gonna roll. Alrighty. I don't remember what this guy does. I think it's like a bunch of AOE and maybe he leaps around or something. I don't remember at all. It's been so long since I've done this place. But also, doing chat. Wait, what is this item? Is this new? Or has this always been a weapon? An MOP. I can't look at this guy. Every time I press inspect, it like takes ages for me to even see their gear. But look at that thing. Is that new? Did you have some skill to it? You drop feathers around by running through your proc damage and healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TG is actually mad good. Arcing smash. Okay, so it's like a frontal. We're gonna avoid that the best we can. Put a dark pack early. Oh, that was a lot of damage taken. I dark packed it and I had all the shields in the world, and that's the only reason why I lived. I literally had shield overload just now. All the shields in the world. I don't think we did a mechanic correctly. Arcing smash in that direction. Yeah, I think we gotta soak this, right? Maybe have somebody stand there. Absorbs damage. So I got a massive absorb just now. <laughs> well, I lived. I got like a really tanky build here where I could I don't die. <laughs> I don't think I would see death proc there until the very end when the boss just smacked me. <laughs> oh, holy dude, look at that. Oh my goodness. Maybe the shield play is the way to go. I'm literally unkillable. Don't release? Okay, okay. It's a bit of a rod, but it's not that bad. I am literally unkillable. I took so much damage there when everybody died. I just, my health was still topped. I'm pretty sure I still had a shield or two. <laughs> I dark fact that I don't think it was the perfect time, dude. It was up for 20 seconds. Man. <laughs> I was able to cast Ebon Might Presence during GG. Were you really? Okay, yeah. If you could use those things while also GG, I think it was going to be golden. Hell yeah. You're probably gonna have to change like key binds to make sure you could use abilities while still GGing. Or like you'll have to uh, put new key binds on like the vehicle controls for GG, right? Just for full item level? I can actually see item level here, right? Yeah, 423 item level, you're right. 313. Yeah, the item level gives you quite an advantage, but also just being a warlock gives you an advantage. Chance to spells and abilities to echo. Imagine if like Infernal Combustion Echo. Oh, he did echo. That's huge. No one ends up there. That is nuts. Uh press chance and have a might. Hell yeah, dude. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Soak swirly? Okay. We'll just have have somebody soak swirly then. Are we ready? Are we going? We're going. I should have done my void thing. Good orb now. Is an ad here? Okay. Looks like we're doing the soaks fine. Mark and smash, watch it. As the soaks, I guess. Yep. Yeah, it explodes and you just gotta have a soak in there. We got a chest? Oh, avoidance and stamina, agility. Oh, okay. I don't think that's better than what I got. Or legs, never mind. Uh, that's your haste re I'm replacing. I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, haste versus avoidance. Ooh. Thank you. TY. Oh my god, boys. We got a dagger. We got a dagger. Let's go. Wait, why does a feral druid get a dagger? <laughs> why did he give a dagger to a feral druid? 
Is it just because he's like agility class? I feel like they gotta fix that. <laughs> Chad, this is so fun. Oh man. I just soaked like a thing and I didn't die. I think I got like a godly defensive build now. With grounding, 90% damage reduced too. This is insane. Pop evasion here just in case. Yeah, besides the Pharaoh, like, and how much damage he is doing, I feel like my damage is actually kind of okay. Like, ignoring the dudes that are doing some cheesy stuff, like, we actually do decent damage in general. Oh, this guy. Hey, isn't this encounter here different depending on the class? Gotta hit him with an orb immediately. Uh, oh, god. Oh, this guy's insta-one-shotting us. That's not feeling good at all. Spray, I'm trying to see if I can avoid it. Let's still keep hitting you. I mean, I'm still living. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> oh man, Chad, how long, how far do you think we're gonna be able to go? Man, we're in spoils, by the way. Oh, we're doing spoils. Chad, do you think we're gonna go all the way and kill Garrosh, or what do you think? Or Garrosh is gonna be the wall, or maybe like a boss before that, gonna be the wall. See, mana bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the lever? Yeah, I was probably should have pulled the lever there. Thundering Orb. That's another one I probably could mess around with, like an AoE. Brittle. That's also another good one, because that can do a ton of damage. Maybe I should use Brittle. Because if there's adds, I imagine that's going to be really, really good. I'll just cleave. That's another option, too. Not got all the way? You think so? Yeah. That'd be hilarious. That'd be really, really funny if we actually end up going all the way to the end. I wish they added, like, a, a, an NPC I can go talk to to, like, upgrade my gear. Because I'd like to use this dagger better than what I got now. Because this actually has stamina. That will help me a lot. It'll just make me a little more survivable. This has better stats. Or I guess this is, like, a purple weapon. That's so good. This is much better stats for me. I'd like to use that. But it'll be a lot better. Do, 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 do. Or, you know, they do have a portal to the veil. Could I exit, go and upgrade my gear, and then come back? Hmm. Didn't I do that? Portal mage. Hmm. Should I go zone now to upgrade my gear and then get summoned in, boys? Real quickly. If you complete all stuff for two months, yeah. <laughs> you mean membership? Or actually just press subscribe button. <laughs> we'll try, man, we'll try. What do you guys think? Should I go and, um, or are they already on the boss? Hold on. Because if they're on the boss right now, I can, hold on. We'll see, we'll see. Because I could go Honeydew Village, right? I can go to Honeydew Village. Oh, we got alliance side of things? Okay, so normally you have a bunch of, uh... Normally here you have a bunch of cannons you gotta fight as Horde, but since we are technically an alliance group, we get the alliance version of this raid. Where the gnomes come in and they clear this place out. But that means later down the line, we'll, like, the Klax area, we won't have... I think it is Nazgrim, or no, Saurfang clears out the room? Yeah, we're already in the boss room. I might as well stick around. I was gonna see if I could pour it out and maybe go upgrade my gear and then come back in. But we're already on spoil, so might as well. Membership? Yo, I'll take you up for that. We'll see then, yeah? HP is a mythic Aranog? Dude, that guy? Yeah, this, the, 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 the stamina on these things probably is a little uh, up there too. Because it does feel like the damage I'm doing is like very, very low compared to like the blow up stuff we're doing. Go talk to the boss? Okay, are we just spilling? Is it like crisscross? If I remember it correctly? E trig? Oh, maybe it is a trig. I'm not sure. I just gotta assume it was maybe a uh, sorrow thing. It might be right. It might have been E trig. We'll see. I'm pretty sure locks and druids could be better. Like an 8 million DPS could be more than just doing damage. I mean, they could use that. You could go into the gems where damage becomes healing and healing becomes damage, and it's like a feedback loop. Kind of funny to see a tusk drop. Yo, that'd be the funniest thing ever if the tusk drops. Also. Another thing I want to see with the drops from this guy is I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have his um 
Remember how there was heirloom gear that Garrosh could drop? I think that's back in this mode. I think you might be able to start earning heirloom gear from Garrosh in this mode. Or at least people have been able to data mine like a time walking version of heirloom gear that they used to have, heirloom weapons specifically. See a mugs available? Not from what I've seen. I'm sure they'll listen to feedback and they're trying to figure it out, but yeah, one, two, three left. One to left, two for right. Okay. I'm gonna assume this is left. Like looking forward to the towards the next boss. Yeah. Only tanks can open boxes. Okay, only tanks open boxes. Nobody else touch. Got it. Find Sarfang before Garrosh. Five bloody beaten up. Is that what it is, Sarfang? How long do you think it should take to get so many? So it took me like two days. Just playing. I think it spent 16 hours. A lot of those hours have been spent doing endgame stuff like dungeons at max level. Or rather 60 to 70. Because leveling from 10 to 60 is quick doesn't take long it slows down from 60 to 70 but you're kind of doing the end game stuff rep stuff from that point on and does take a little bit of time i'd say two days took me two days i was i didn't have to like stay up 24 hours or anything like that i really had like um i did end up going one night like for a very long while but for the most part it was just like a really chill really chill so on the wrong side am i here i'm on the right side Ooh. Add in Yui. Okay. Those are me then. Do -do 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 Tank open boxes. Oh yeah, we got the classy ones. Did this guy get stunned? Bernova? Okay, we gotta kill that. Are we gonna die? I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna cloak. Supernovas are going off. I don't know what. Uh, I think we're dead. Yeah, I probably had to kill supernovas, right? Yeah, we do. A body one move team. <laughs> oh no. But trauma you on. I don't think it matters to which realm you on for this mode. Um, I'm pretty sure I am on Broxigar or Anasterion. Jake, could you help me out with that? Because Jake, you are on Anasterion, so I'm not on Anasterion. I'm probably on Broxigar. Yeah, this is a PTR realms though. Like, this is not live realms, just PTR realms. Okay, so what I might do now is maybe port out. Get buffed or buff up my gear. Other side can't kill Nova. Oh, was it out? Yeah, I mean, I saw that we had Novas on our end. And I thought, like, oh, I should probably start hitting it, but no one else was hitting. So I thought, okay. I'll just sit. Rock cigar? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't play Horde. Is there knowledge of this? I never played play Horde. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was very different for Horde. It's just a little different, right? It's like that one room is a little easier on Alliance and the other room is a little easier on Horde. Besides this, there's not a lot of differences. Everything else is the same. Unlike, uh, like another raid that's different for Alliance and Horde is Battle for the Zara Lore, but that's like because of the, um, what is it? The story reasons is different. But yeah. Do we have enough Warlocks and Ferals on this site? Because we have one, two, do you guys have enough Warlocks and Ferals in this site? Hold on. What's nearby? You guys got like two. Okay. Also, do we have all the buffs? I'm going to go through all my scrolls. I do like the buff scrolls, by the way. Those are really, really good. The fact that you can do like whatever buffs you don't have, you can just apply. And you're chilling. <laughs> They're trying to figure out left and right, dude. Like, which one is the left side? Hand, you said I was on the left side. Hand that makes an L is your left hand. Keg W. Put your hands in front of you. The hand that has your index and thumb as an L is left. We are having to explain to people their lefts and rights. This should tell you everything about just how much of a goober group this is. And I love it. I love every second of this. We're literally trying to teach each other stuff you should learn, like, in kindergarten or something, right? Like, what? Are we ready? Are we going? Yeah, we're going. 
I guess I would have got beamed by something because grounding shot I'm already activated. Oh yeah, there's this guy just melting. This is good on scale once that's over. Uh, and I guess I'm just gonna start beaming this, blasting. Yeah, we gotta kill supernovas. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna be in charge of trying to kill supernovas whenever possible. Uh, let's do one of these. So you're doing two of these at a time. I can't really do much to the supernovas really, can I? Yeah, everything- the supernovas die so quick, I can't even do anything. I can maybe stun one of these ads. Like, maybe. No, can't even stun that guy. I can just hit him to put up a poison on him. A little traffic. That's about all I can do. Maybe I can stun the Mist Reaver? No, you can't stun the Mist Reaver. Unless I can work up towards my Drone Rush again, maybe then I can stun. Yeah, even a Drone Rush can stun. Are we gonna get more things? Oh, the other side dead. Uh oh. Yeah, the other side died. Unforge. Is this where maybe I go and uh, see if I can go for a quick uh, port out, get my stuff, get someone back in, boys? Or do I just stick around for one more? Because it feels like we just gotta get back really, really quickly. I think I'll stick around for one more. I still never understand how or why Arms Warrior's artifact was an axe of Scenario's Broxigar's axe. That would have been really cool, but I like the troll bane weapon as well. Like the fact that you walk around and then there's troll NPCs out in the open world, they'll literally flee from you. So if you're doing Zulfa Rag, like that dungeon is filled with trolls and they'll just cower. They can't do anything. I do like that with the troll bane. Although that one would have been awesome though. That would have been like a demon's bane, I guess, or something, right? Although they have a different kind of demon's bane. In Dodi. Matters which way you're facing, saying left, uh, right, is dumb east, west side, maybe? Yeah. But then again, like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we should mark them, right? Orange side, blue side, right? Blue side, red side, right? X, square. 1, 3, blue. 1, 3, square. 2, 4, X. 1, 3, square. 2, 4, X. Or something like that, right? Some of that from AOE, unfortunately. That Hara is offline? What was that Hara? Warlock? Uh oh, we lost another Warlock. That's not good. Maybe I should have gotten the Warlock leveled up for this. If I knew Warlocks were going to be this busted, I would have been playing Warlock, man. I would have played Warlock long ago. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone died from AoE. What is it? Was, was it? What is it? What killed you guys? Was it the um, J Tempest? So that might be your AOE ability, right? Because we had the uh, the Klaxon one, but you guys had the other one. Or maybe it was an ad that cast J Tempest? Because we had a Supernova and we just as long as we killed that, we are chilling on our end. Let me see if I have other gems that I can create. I actually have one more. I think it's all. Prism. Prism. We should have more versatility gems. Okay, we're going. I wish I had to restyle there. We'll vanish. We shot it a little. That works. Yeah, Supernova's a dying really quickly. I'll avoid these guys. Yeah, these things are just melting now. They don't have a lot of health to begin with. But she hurts a lot. Does she do anything? She just heals us. I think she might just be chilling there healing us.
I wonder if these things are stunnable, Tim. One more week, we walk out to clear body. Yeah, we will be, man. We will be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did the other team die again? Seriously, I won't check us out. Was it actually? The Jade thing? Is that what that is? Yeah, we're down then. Yeah, the other the other team being dead, I think it's just uh over for us. Damn. We almost got our um what's its thing ready. Mm-mm. Was there over this time? You guys, I, uh, Jake, what is happening on your guys' end there? Can there only really one person go over there? Maybe. Uh Let's say get Nova's under crates. Wait, can you actually still do this? Not crates. Yeah, we can kill these though, I guess. But I gotta go quick though. Oh god, that's gonna blow. Or not? I mean, as long as we open up one thing at a time and just nuke it instantly, maybe we can kind of do stuff. Oh, that's a big name guy. I don't know how that's gonna go. I probably might just die. Oh, he got adds to it. Oh, yeah, we're so dead. <laughs> I think we're dead with that other team dead. But yeah, this is uh, definitely a little rough. He died? Okay, apparently this fellow is insane. Ruzalak is just a killer here. Holy. He's just insane. He's just a monster. <laughs> He's just one-shotting everything. Lordy. We need to do Ruse. Okay, yeah, everything is just dying. Wait, Ruse just might be able to kill everything on his own then. Alright. I see ya. <laughs> Wait, is this still doable then? Chat, this actually might still be doable. Oh, he needs heals. He needs help. Oh yeah, he's dead. He did his very best though. He did really, really good up until that point. But yeah, it's over. It's over. Come on, Zap, you one shot. Bottle Lightning Bombers? Okay, I don't know what the Bottle Bomber Lightning... Bomb... Bottle Bomb... Bottle lightning bombers look like. Cause like, cause the rooms are the same, right? You just you guys just start out with a moga while we get the um, what's it called? You guys start with a moga while we get the um. Oh look at that! Look at you for the bird. Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you. You can move with that thing. Look at that. That thing is schmoving. Look at that thing. Is that just passive heals? Yeah, that's just a passive heal. That's so nice, actually. <laughs> Yo, that should have been the celestial ability for monks, man. You become a celestial and you just get different abilities. How wild would that have been? Like with a hero spec or whatever? Which gear does this guy got? Yeah, a lot of them got a pretty high item level, man. I feel like my item level could be a little bit higher. This guy, look at how much stamina he's got compared to me. Must have gotten rings or something, right? Because I feel like I have like no stamina at all. On any of my gear. 
Left to their job. Yeah, we're outside. We did just fine, man. We're killing, we're sniping. Hell, we can live without a tank for a good bit. New Zao one can do millions of damage. Is that what I should grab? Is New Zao? What does he do again? I remember reading this like, channel bulwark of Black Ox for 10 seconds. Charge an enemy, removing all stuns and roots. Gain and shield absorbing damage. Taunt enemies within 40 yards. Every one second, inflict physical damage to enemies within 20 yards. So you become. New Zao? For how long? 10 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, so he just literally becomes New Zawa. Plus 20% of damage taken by the shield. Okay, so you want to get a Giga Shield, get Giga damage taken, and then just uh, unload a bunch of damn too. I wonder if I should do this. I wonder if I should do New Zawa. Not do the taunt, but just get Giga Shield, and then like. I do do a bunch of damage with the uh, grounding or not grounding. Um, what was it? I just set it up recently with uh, Arcanist Edge with a shield. That could be really good, huh? That could be nuts. Another power I was thinking of picking up maybe is just like a utility one with um, Life Storm. Locust power is okay too. What was the Thunder and Orb? Yeah, these things just died and stuff. Lordy. But if you ever have those in the Zoan or Yulon? Uh, I'm sure they would have some kind of like a Zoan or Yulon in testing. But they never got around to like actually implementing one. Or maybe they in play tests it just didn't really fit. Could be one of those things. Oh yeah, we have a lot more supernovas this time around. Is that means the other team is like clearing stuff faster? Maybe. Oh that hurts a lot. That spin crank it hits hard. Is that what you guys were dealing with? Oh, supernovas are gonna go off. Unless. Spin crank kick is gonna hurt a lot again. Oh my god, yeah, it hurts so much. Is that what was killing you guys over there? Is the, uh, that monk? So, how do we open that guy? I don't think we've ever gotten him before. It's just me, me and this guy right now. Yeah, I grabbed something. I'm not sure what I grabbed. Holy. Okay, Swarmer could at least get CC'd, which is good. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> okay, this is rough. Mr. Spirit next pull. Yeah, Mr. Or, or rather, if you, like, if a spirit spawns, we gotta insta kill it. What's up, dude? What's up, Frosty? How you doing, my guy? Hey, hey, hope you're doing good. That they killed us? Yeah, that one did. Pandaria boxes give no credit, they're just buffs. Okay, yeah, that's not worth it then. Yeah, maybe just avoiding them entirely. Is that or nuke them? Uh, but if you see one up, nuke it. It's a lot of trouble. And it's up. Yeah, definitely don't touch it. Don't touch the boxes. But if you do see one, you might as well like obliterate the smithereens, right? You might as well just destroy it if you can. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple extra bodies. That'll consolidate the groups a little bit. We could like take groups, take people out of maybe group four and like move two of them at least, I guess. So we can share buffs and everything. Turns out a billion damage can carry everything. Not always, no. Five million bronze and you could have a res. <laughs> Imagine, dude, you're trading bronze. They just gotta make this a currency you can outtrade to one another and people will just go wild, man. People will literally buy it. There's gonna be some RMTs with like, man, I'm trying to get all my bronze. Wait, this thing has agility! 
I just noticed this glove has agility. Oh, these have agility. Hold on. 13 agility. 16 agility. Oh, no. These items are better. That uh, raw agility I think is worth. Because I barely have any agility on anything. So that raw agility I think is worth the avoidance. Holy. All right, Bryce. Carry us to victory, friend. Do it. Carry us, man. Our explosive, we can stun them. Which is good. One storm. Kill them real quickly. We should be getting... I imagine big AoE here soon. Oh yeah, triple feral on this side. Oh my god. Okay. Renovas. Watch it. Oh, one storm didn't hurt. Okay. I thought those were gonna hurt. Can this guy get stunned? Yes, he can. Dude, I feel like a feral druid in SOD right now. I don't do anything, but I'm just like a debuff bot and stun bot. I just uh, I provide buffs or support. That's all I do. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen how bad it's been for Feral so far in SOD, by the way? It's been wild. Like, out of all the classes that actually have damage and stuff, Feral's are just like, oh yeah, I just kind of do so sometimes, but not really. Yeah. That's all you can do. Okay, all the team is dead. How do we help the other team, man? Do we just gotta take the chains, I guess? Okay, somebody went to take the chain. What is killing you guys over there? You guys said like it was like some kind of like lightning bombers or something. But like... I return to SAD level 60? Yeah, apparently a lot of Siege Crafter. Okay, we'll try doing Siege Crafter instead of that one. Alright, we'll give it a go. Do we have... Wait, it's locked? Can I open them? I am a rogue. Hold on, is that a thing I can do? Can I lockpick it? Hold on a second. Yeah, you can. Uh, or no. Never mind. I was thinking I was opening the door, but it's just a cinematic instead. Never mind. Once you're upgrade, we should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, that guy just died so fast. Yeah, look, he was just fine and then got obliterated for his entire health bar. There's just nothing he could do. Actually, just nothing he could do there. He did well. He did everything right. He still paid for it. Okay, how many more ads do we have? Why you're right outside people suck so much. I mean, I, I do it's I don't want to say it like that, but yeah. Like left side is chilling, left side is golden, right side something's going on. And I guess I'm wondering like how do we help you guys? Is there anything we could do or is it just like a, a get good moment? Because it just might be one of those. Right? Sometimes that's what it comes down to, and it's like Or maybe just too much damage going on. Or you can't kill stuff fast enough. Maybe you guys need more, because it could be down to like, you guys just don't have enough ferals over there. Or warlocks. And that's like, yeah, we just need to reorganize the group a little bit. Hey, I'm on the right side. I I know you're on the right side. I'm just wondering like, because left side is chilling. Right side has died a couple of times in a row. So I'm just wondering like, how do we help you guys? Also, I don't remember those boss at all. I know you go into the pipes and you go in here or something. You got to take out. Like some kind of an item that's in his like production and then he I think he equips it or it drops in from the sky. I don't remember this fight at all. I wish I remembered. There's parts of this I don't remember at all. <laughs> uh, the tank just kept getting one hit and uh, no feral to AoE. Okay, yeah, that just might be like we need a tank with like actual gear on him. That's what it might come down to. I immediately cheated dead just now. Look, Ankh, I just reincarnated. Someone just insta killed me. Was that a guy with like the cosmic shield or whatever that killed people? Someone just insta killed somebody. Me included. Oh, he's just dead. 
You want to die, Insta? <laughs> oh, Nazgrim Shanker! Oh, we got double daggers. We could play Assass if we wanted to, boys. We could play Assass now. Take some to Oh, no way! Take some to upgrade. Okay. He's even telling us to go and upgrade, man. Hell yeah. Then box? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got Pandaria port. Um, anyone got uh, anyone got that Pandaria port? Yo, look at that! We got a fist. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm gonna run that just for the fists. If somebody got perfect versatile diamonds. I need more of those. I don't have any perfect diamonds at all. Oh man, I have none. You guys upgrade and go in spoon spoils. Okay, 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 okay. I guess I'm gonna hearth. I'm gonna hearth it will come back, Jake. Let's do upgrades, man. I'm gonna go grab these weapons. Upgrade by rolling warlock. True, dude, true. If I could just boost one real quickly, I would. I'm gonna do the best I can on my end, man. I'm just gonna go grab these weapons that gave me actually good stats. Like, look, bam, right? Got it. And we got the Nazgrim one. I'll do Nazgrim Shanker. Got it. We'll keep that one over there. I almost want to do this weapon, but I don't think it matters, right? No, 124, 124, it all is the same. Bam, got it. We gotta do this. Uh, right, pick one gem out of here. Second gem, third gem. How did I proxy Dether Insta Man? It is wild. I'm going right way, right? Yeah, I am. Oh my god, this is an upgrade. And I think we had another quest that I could complete as an upgrade. Scenario completed. I never completed a scenario, I guess. Okay. All right, we got a bunch of bronze. We got a bunch of stuff ready to go. Uh, that is, I think, better. Speed. I think that is better here, though, with pants. Because I don't necessarily need haste. But I do want agility. Some haste. And some aversa. Okay. This is about the same. Yeah, I'll just keep it the same. Alright, weapon. How far can I upgrade this thing? 370, 402, 370 summon, right? 388, 370, 374. Okay, and then this can also go 374 with the shanker. And then I need to upgrade my uh, gloves to 370 also, so 21. And then this all goes up to 21 as well, right? 22, 23. 23, okay. And I can upgrade this one more. Let's buy one more. Let's buy one more. And now we can start getting everything by an extra rank. So I'm just gonna go like full round. So this is how you upgrade gear in this mode, by the way. Once you achieve like a new watermark level, then you can take all of your items one extra level higher. So I got everything to for 374 now I can upgrade it by one more I'm out of options though I'm out of currency what I can do is I can go and uh, take the items that I'm not gonna use uh, and scrap them I want to keep a dagger I don't know if I need another weapon I got a little bit of bronze now I can maybe go upgrade everything one extra I want to upgrade the big purples. Do the purples first. Okay, that's about all I can do. Let's see if I can get summoned. Let's see if I can hit him with a one, two, three. All right, so now we got ourselves two eighty-one item level. With a couple of purple weapons that have agility and stamina on them, which gives me quite a lot of health. I gained like 100k health just for doing this. Um, and hopefully my abilities are going to rank up too, right? That's a lot of Ursa. That's <laughs> so much Ursa. Although, I have no idea why haste, stamina versus haste, versatility, haste, stamina. Do these not stack? I almost feel like these don't stack. 
No, they do. It just doesn't give me as much versatility. Well, haste gives me like giga haste. Forty-two percent leech. That is a lot. That is a ton of leech. So with this, my shield should be massive, right? I have eighty-six thousand shield here. With that, I have a twenty two hundred fourteen thousand shield. Okay, so I have like a ton of shielding, a ton of shielding. Okay, that's about as good as I think I can get it. Beautiful. And we got summon. All right, ten percent on lead to everyone as well. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, I think it's only two people in your party, right? At least I'm pretty sure it's just people in your party. Also got quite a bit of avoidance too now with this item. Avoidance is massive, dude. That's AOE damage reduction. I think it's gonna be pretty big. Yeah. I'm skippy. I'm gonna see if I can summon you real quick. Your party, yeah. So you are gonna have to like itemize like party buffs and stuff. This is gonna be interesting though. But the fact that raid buffs are not really as important since you can just use scrolls, you will probably want to use certain abilities to make sure your entire party has all the party buffs. So like somebody who needs going to need to get a grounding totem as a buff, probably a healer is going to use it, right? I imagine. I'm just running it just so we have it for our group. Or at least for myself at the bare minimum. <laughs> Got a shield, so that's about all I can do on my end. But yeah, spend a lot of this currency really quick. So if you want to gear out and you want to do endgame stuff, you're probably going to use a lot of this currency just to outfit your character with like the best gear you can get. Um, otherwise, uh, you're probably just going to farm it out through casual content and then just buy all the mounts you want. But I do like the system, like the upgrade system is very different because you can just keep taking the same gear you got, right? Once you got the items with the stats you want, you can just keep upgrading them as your best in slot gear. Until like 400 arm levels. Why don't you have a neck or rings and a trinket? So you have to earn those by doing like specific achievements. If I can find them here. Yeah, here we go. So if you want to get like the... Um, Love Eternus, Heroic Pandaria Raids. Time Runner's Amulet, you have to complete all raids on normal in order to be able to get the amulet. Time Runner's Seal, I believe either is a ring or a trinket. I think it's a... I think it's a ring. You have to complete all Pandaria dungeons on heroic difficulty. To get the ring, you have to complete all scenarios on heroic difficulty. And then for Beacon, which I think is another trinket. I think. Uh, you have to complete all the following achievements as a Time Runner. So you gotta do Theramar's Fall, Heart of Pandaria, Raid Finder, Siege of Agrimar, uh, Secrets of Rage Fire, Blood of the Snow. So like scenarios that are story based. You have to complete all of them in order to unlock it. So you unlock a lot of accessories through the um, achievements. But the rest of the gear you can get through dungeons, raids, and then just upgrade it all the way. I've only gotten a trinket so far just for hitting level 70. The rest of the gear I have to get achievements for. Heroic scenario is a little bit hard because you have to have a pre-made. Otherwise, you can't really queue for them. Because it'll try to give you a queue and it'll disappear. It's got a bug on PTR. Dungeons and stuff, it that gets doable, but it takes a little bit of time. And we only have like, what, three days to play this? so Or test it, rather. Not really. No, I guess play test it. So, there's only so much time in the world, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of limited on that angle. That's all. Just a little, just a wee bit limited. Okay, we got everybody, man. Just buff up and we'll get to, you'll be good to go, hopefully. We were upgraded. Everybody got maybe like 100k more health. Hopefully everybody's a little more survivable. People got different gear. I kind of like this whole, uh, whole thing, by the way. This whole go upgrade your gear and just like, there we go. Now we can give it another shot. I love this, by the way. I'm just going to buff everybody here. Scroll cleansing. I forgot that I have those. Is that for me? From the target ally. Oh, so you can cleanse somebody. Yeah, so if he doesn't even have a cleanse, you can just cleanse other people. Five buff? Yo, give me that. Give me that roll. Oh yeah, everything is on now. So hopefully we'll have a little more survivability than last time. How are you doing, by the way, Justice? It's going to be on live at 10 to 7, whenever that comes out. But it's going to be after, like, Season 4. It's just available for testing on PTR. This is so fun, by the way. This mode is incredibly fun. Somebody got a bomb, so hopefully you can put it off to the side, maybe. Yeah, I think they're going to drop a bomb in the middle. 
Yeah, you gotta move. He's moving, he's moving. Putting in the corner. Or at least trying to. There we go. That's exactly how I wanna do it. Put on explosives. We wanna stun him if I can. Stun him on his uh, cast. It's kinda huge. Those guys are dead. More sparks. Nice. Uh, what's it pulling? This? Okay. Can I stun him? Yeah, I can. It creates more Novas. You guys are doing good on your end, yeah? Also, we put bombs in the corner, which is so perfect. Uh, we just need a. We got one of them. You guys gotta get on your end. Nice. Still gotta kill that. At least we have enough damage to kill stuff. <laughs> Normally it's like we just gotta wait for the ferals and all them to do things, but yeah. We actually have a little bit of damage so we could actually be kind of helpful in some of the easier uh, tasks. We have Novas. Okay, at least I can kind of sort of be helpful this time around. Normally I'm not. Okay, we got more. Cool. We're like the plunder got 40 levels, kind of boring. Did you get a full, like, uh, so you're saying you got your full renown? Your plunder was awesome. I still love plunder. I've been plundering with some homies. It's so fun, man. Plunder has been such a good game mode. What a good addition. I wish these things were stunnable. That'd be even more useful. Uh, we need more boxes, right? Let's get to drop them there. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid them all then. Yeah, orb does as well, because if they crit, it just everything melts. We got our thing done, by the way. You guys done on your end, too? We do it? Did we do it? Yeah, we got the spoils, dude. We got the spoils. Hell yeah. Spoils of Pandaria. Let's see what we get out of this, man. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Hold on. We go here, yeah? We we'll probably go here, right? I imagine. Or just wait. I guess we could do this too. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait. Hold on, could I shadow step to him? I might be able to. If they get like around the corner. I'm gonna try to see if I can snipe from him. Juicy. Come on, man. Let me, let me, let me get the chain, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna snipe it 100%. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Dizzy. Sorry, Dizzy. You just gotta be a faster clicker than me, man. Another weapon, beautiful. Anybody need Agi weapon, by the way? Yeah, it's still kind of lowish item low. At least like it's upgradable, but damn. Who can I give this to, man? It's Agi. It's also Strain too. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, big Agi! Holy! Wait, that's huge agility. I wonder if anybody's like trading, like, yo, anybody want? Anybody need? Yo, we're all the way to Thok now? Okay, this is getting serious now. What do you do after you hit summoning? Endgame stuff, your raid. Heroic raids are open once you hit uh, Endgame. So right now we're doing Mythic Siege of Agamar. Like, we're, we're, uh, of course, I don't think we're supposed to be here this early. Just because we got these Warlocks and Pharaohs doing as much damage as they are. But, uh, yeah. Endgame. A different kind of endgame, more of a classic original version of WoW's endgame. Is basically the best way to like explain it. It's more that heroic rating. That's really it. You don't really have too much. Diff I guess Mythic Siege of Agamemnon should be part of the content anyway. But yeah, endgame stuff. Although you don't have to, you don't have things like Mythic Plus or anything like that. Also, the way that thing runs, by the way, is hilarious. 
Is he just gonna... Do we like, kite him over to us? Or like, aim him towards us? That hurts. That was a lot of damage at once. Somebody died there. <laughs> Good thing I have like triple, quadruple shields on me, yeah? Good thing I'm just like a bubble boy right now. <laughs> oh my god, come over here. Come over here, ugly. Oh no, you're not ugly, you're beautiful. What am I talking about? This guy's a beaut. She's a beaut, ain't she, boys? <laughs> Insta died. Jesus. Holy, yeah, Infernal Combustion is uh, super, super strong. What does Thog do, man? I don't remember at all. Doesn't ads spawn in, too? Don't you have to go into these cages and kill stuff? Is that part of the fight? Wait, can I open stuff? Because I'm a rogue. Can I lockpick? Is that a mechanic? Feral's even doing... Feral's are nuts. Bugs a pup. Oh, but yeah, no. Feral's are doing... Uh, Feral's and Warlocks are doing the most amount of damage right now. They're just bugged. So, it's a... Any town that causes them to consume dots... Has like a weird scaling because it's a time walking content and we're level 70 characters like it makes abilities such as uh informal internal combustion where chaos bolt consumes emulates damage because it's a consumption effect it does some weird scaling for pandaria where it's like millions of damage at a time if it crits it's just a lot same thing for feral druids when they do that uh tear open wounds ability or um i can't even look at the towns can i Where's the Feral ability at? Uh, yeah, Tear Open Wounds. With that, uh, Wrath consumes up to 4 seconds of rip. And Tear, also. All of those are doing just a ton of damage. Kind of carrying everybody. But, uh, yeah, well, like, if you don't- if you ignore them, yeah, if you ignore those top two, right? Ignore those top two. Frost Mages are pretty good. Alarogs are doing pretty good. Giga Beefed Up Shielded Demon Hunters are doing really good, right? Anybody that's running a shield build, which is kind of what we have to do right now to, like, live stuff. I mean, classes are doing pretty decent. Playing Nog, there isn't much healing, it's just one-shots. Yeah, you literally can't heal the one-shots. Sack of blue and AoE heals. I'll be behind his ad right now, so be on his side. Okay, so don't be in front of him. He's like a dragon. He has a big old tail and you'll do a tail swipe. Got it. Got it. Understood. Task clear. Hopefully. Do, 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 do. Are we going? He was going where I'm going. Okay. Ow. Holy. Yeah, his roar does a lot of damage. Yeah, no wonder he said this guy's gonna suck. Lightning also. Yeah, Screech is so much damage. It's half, uh, hell, half my health. Holy, he's at 41%. We just gotta, like, tank up and live in the opener. That's all we can do is tank up and live. Hopefully live. Yeah, this guy's gonna hurt. It's just a, he, he bosses here are also really, really broken, as you can see. Like, the amount of damage they do does not scale super, super well. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing. If we put the red stack on the tank, so don't move the raid. Okay, okay. Did we ninja pull it? Who pulled it? I thought we were okay. Emulate from Madhara. Okay, so maybe it was a warlock that maybe it went a little too early. Who knows? Honestly, how many kicks you got? Uh, one, I think. Or I mean, as a raid. Uh, at least, at least two. I hope, maybe, on a good day. Was it me that pulled? Because I just threw my void orb down. What rum is Al on? On PTR, I'm on Broxigar. Yeah, I thought I was an Anastarian. I'm Broxigar. I don't know why I'm on Broxigar. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, they put you in the same party as the Warlocks. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Try to stand kind of next to them to make sure they're getting buffed up. Also the Feral. Uh, Media. Honestly, we should put Ruzalak in your group. What's his name? Ruzal... Ruzal Zack. Okay. Put Zack in your group. But we'll see. Yeah, if we, just, if we just live long enough, like, the guy will die. Can I have a mage buff and a scroll buff? You can? Oh, you can do both? 
I'm pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to work, but yeah. Yeah, can I do a feral buff? No, it's not gonna let me if there's a mark of the wild already. So I think you had to pray, press scroll and then get bowed up by a mage then. Okay. So you can double up on the buffs. Wait. I got a lot of int then. 9% int. The bad I don't use it. Attack power is huge. If only we had a warrior. Do we have a warrior? We do have a warrior. Okay, I just can't get the buff then. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, war buff plus. I'm just gonna ask for warrior buff again. There we go. Now we got the good one. Is it actually a good one? Yeah. Do I? Uh. Okay, uh, two people already died. That was my cheat death. Oh god. Boss moved. Boss is doing a lot of moving. Ow. Feral? Oh man. Deafening Screech. Intro spell casting. He feels like he's casting that a bunch. Deafening Screech. His energy is super, super high. Energy regeneration rate. What caused him to generate a lot of energy? Um. Energy regeneration increased. Roar strikes terror players, causing them to take more damage per stack. What caused him to gain energy quicker? Like, what's making him use Deafening Screech? Spinning the boss into us. Okay, so we just have to keep the boss to the side, I guess. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Bumper's getting aggro, spam, taunt. Already alone. He's a big personal on pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen many warriors on here? Yeah. I, uh, the warriors seem to be doing really, really good. They do have a timer on his grip debuff, though, which reduces some of the strength, increases their stamina, and gives them a lot more haste. But yeah, because it's like the weapons are pretty strong in this mode. They give you a lot of primary stats. Like, majority of your primary stats is going to be from your weapons. Like, agility here is about 1,800, 1,800. Rest of my gear doesn't really have agility. It's just mostly secondary stats, unless you have like a pants that give you just a little more agi, or like gloves here that give me just a little more agi. Majority of agility you go from weapons and two-handers give a lot. So that's what they're reducing it for them. But they're pretty strong. They're generally tanky and they do a lot of damage right now. Like once a gear, once you get them fully geared. I saw a Fury Warrior earlier that had almost a million health. Because he'd been upgrading his gear like out of the wazoo. And he was pumping, man. Every raging blow was doing like 100k hit a hit so like those two hits from side to side rampage is like 20k per strike and it's like four strikes in a row it's kind of wild never made one so i figured it'd be good i think in general like on live for season four i think fear wars are going to be really really good um I, I also think that they're going to be really good for this mode as well i mean some, some of the powers they have yeah i think they're going to scale super super well i think you're gonna have some fun with it Also, oh, Ankh, dude. Ankh procs insta, dude. First global Ankh. Ankh. Ankh gets eaten first global there. It's hilarious that I can do Ankh and cheat death, but that's the way to do it, though. I wonder if this is like the intended mechanic, like giga damage from the boss, but giga damage from players. Uh, pop all your biggest defensive uh, gems that just try to live. Or if this is just like this boss is over 10. I think he's overscaled, though. Just a little. Just a bit much. Crit gems? Do I have enough crit gems to like combine together? Or is this my first crit gem? That's a blue. That's the first one. Do I have any more blues? I have the legendary. I have one, so if I can get another crit gem, then I could turn him into a big purple gem. That'd be huge. Or versa gems, that's another combo that I would love. Do 
Yeah, Frosty, I think you'll like uh, Warrior if you never played one. They're really good. You'll just get Carpal Tunnel from playing one. They're very, very, very spammy. But a very fun, a straightforward playstyle. I think you will enjoy it. I'm a mastery fall off for the hard ones I got max level, man. The button was to, or our ability to hit super super hard, but not anymore. Sack of blue? Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will. Personals, if you're dying, instantly personals. Screech, yeah, this gets a lot of energy immediately. Gonna shield this. He gets so much energy so quickly. He's not supposed to get that much energy that quickly, is he? It's kind of bugged. Unless that's literally how it was back in like SOD, which or SOO. I don't think it was. I could be wrong. Or faintless, maybe? Did I cloak it? I think it's all physical damage, isn't it? Oh, stunned us. That's not good. She death? Ah, yeah, he got a lot, a lot of damage. Big energy regen is just roaring over and over and over. We're barely alive, man. Barely living it. Barely living it. Jesus. Yeah, he just keeps interrupting us over and over and over. So close, man. So close. We just got to pump a little harder. 15%. Yeah. What is causing him to gain that much energy? Chat, how does this guy work? Anybody know? Cry in the darkness. Man. Overview. Uh, two modes. Initially engaged, he performs deafening screech with increasing frequency, dealing heavy railway damage. While uh, when he detects a clump of curiously, seriously injured players, Thok enters blood frenzy, during which he pursues a random targets, instantly devouring any players across his path. He moves faster and faster, defeating Core Kron. So he's not going into the second phase at all, which is a little weird. Yeah, it looks like somebody was maybe out of position. Agar the boss. Infirm pump it too hard. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We may need another Warlock or something. Save the Orb thing for 50%. I think Orb should be used in the opener, right? Because it just buffs everyone's damage. At least it makes sense to use it in the opener. Because, like, I don't think we have any executes or really any, like, way to execute. Most of our damage is being done at the very beginning while everybody's alive. No, I probably, I still think, it, or maybe should be using the opener. Unless there's like another meta ability, because there is a lot. Meta. Funeral Pyre does give me stats. This is a shield, but it kind of, it can kill everybody around you. It like sacrifices their health to convert into a shield, but it's a little too strong. Ward of Salvation is cool if you're a healer, because you buff up you like a tank, you heal him a bunch, it converts any healing you do into an over, over shield. And then when, after 10 seconds, if any overshield retains, it expires, explodes, doing a bunch of damage to everything around you. I could do Timeless Spirit since I'm, if I was in a group with Warlocks, because this, what this allows is basically cuts the cost of all their abilities by 100%. So imagine a Warlock could just channel Chaos Bolts, but they still will need to reapply Immolations. Either way, I could go Locus of Power to give my party stats with a Crit Haste Strike Mastery for 30 seconds, but like... A life stone maybe for a heal, but I think the crit is probably better because that's just crit damage. Like for everybody, I think not just for my party. Yeah, it makes the enemy take 50% more crit damage. It doesn't say like from your party, just in general, take more damage. We got another warlock? Yo! Hopefully he knows how to play this thing. Should see burst when he gets slow. I think you should just pump in the opener. Just pump in the opener and tank's got a uh, taunt aggro. Standing blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Gate will pull. I mean, that's a way to do it. Wait, I wonder if we would double up on orb. Can the orb stack? Like, can the orb debuff stack, you think? Because if you get a bunch of people orb in, I mean, he takes 50% more damage after getting an orb, 50% more de crit damage after he gets hit by an orb. But if you double orb, that's 100% damage, right? Doubles up. And then it's like whatever crit damage they're doing on the boss, because I mean, they're doing a lot of crit damage. Like, that, when it crits, is 69 million of the boss's health. Which is like just a scratch, <laughs> honestly. He has a 1.8 billion. Rewind it for restore with Marcus Salvation up. Oh, that's huge, actually. Yeah. Yeah, is that what you were doing? How much damage does that do? Okay. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to void. Wish I had a proper opener there, but I don't think it matters really, right? I just got to live. Or I just got to not die. Okay, I think we're doing better. His energy is not going up nearly as quickly, and we're just popping defenses. He turned into the group. That doesn't feel good. What can you do, though? We press faint. It's like at least start reducing some of that damage with faint. Oh, yeah, take very little damage now. Faint again. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, we got Doc. Look <gasps> at the chest. Oh, versatility. Oh, buddy boy. Oh, my goodness. I want to go and up it right now. I really want to go and up it right now. Look at that thing! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's got so much Versa! Oh, it's beautiful! Look at it! Oh, it even looks good too! Oh! Oh yeah, I wanna go up it right now. Should I just do it? It went so fat, did you do it? Or was it another guy that did it? Oh, you did do it, you got Temporal Anomaly. Oh, he, he melted. We just needed more Warlocks. That's all we needed. Look at my little pitiful damage, man. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Shot touch globule. Oh, cool. Intellect item offhand. That's awesome. I'm so happy with this, by the way. This is so fun. Getting gear, upgrading gear. It's so good. I love it. And it's much better than Smoker Breaker Vest. The item level is a little different. Uh, is it still worth using, actually? It's less stamina. It's half as less stamina. Yeah, I need to go upgrade it. Mm, yeah, this is the part. This is the, where normally like Horde would be able to kind of like skip. You don't need to fight this Grandmaster Alchemist. Because normally Etrig or Sarfang cleared him out for you. So you walk it through this and you just see a bunch of like bug parts everywhere. Look, I mean, we're taking a while to kill this guy. Look at that. Now the Ferals have... Now the Frozen and all the guys are making their way in here. Now they're making their way in. Do -do 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 attempt for worst trash in the raid. Is it actually the worst trash? I don't think I... I never actually done it. Been a horde for like years. You literally never see this trash ever. Oh. Okay, I don't know what I got. Okay, cancelled. What happened? I press accept. I didn't know what happened. But is that all? Is this all the trash? Was it a meme then? Or these guys? Those guys. Maybe he means those dudes over there. The bugs. Bug. I feel like I should go and uh, go upgrade my gear real quick. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go upgrade my stuff. Uh, quick uppy. I cap selected. Oh no. Flax should be a joke. Really? Okay. Bugs life or condition? True, true. Big room trash is worse. Yeah, I think that room, the trash or not room is probably much worse than the actual like bugs themselves. And if we can pick up some bronze along the way on the mountain tops, man, that will help. I don't know if I'll have enough. Hopefully, I will. Okay, uh, maybe up here, bronze. Yeah. Yeah, let me grab some of this. Let me get some of that. That's a lot of bronze. Uh, nothing up here? Under the bridge, maybe? Yeah. And then over here is some bronze, too. 
bronze up here as well. Yeah, or it's gone. Under the bridge? Yeah, under the bridge. Oh yeah, people are dying. Oh, that's feeling good. Alright, let's go and upgrade these things. Hopefully it'll have enough. To, like, up it quite a bit. 388, is that what my stuff is at right now? No, I up it a little higher than that. Cool. Let's go take this out, take this Lego out, take this gem out. Chat. <laughs> Chat. I hate that master gem, by the way. I don't want to remove it, actually. Uh, maybe put a versatility one in here. Oh, yeah. 2000 Versa. Versed out, man. Verse out. Holy. Okay, now we're good. Need to worry about Garage. Should be easy with Locks of Kitty, honestly. Hopefully I get a summon here. Yo. <laughs> Anthony, we might actually kill Garage tonight, dude. So far, it's crew we're cruising. We're on Kalaxi. Is Kalaxi second to last boss? Yeah, Kalaxi second to last. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, Anthony, where you around? Are you around? Body me on Garage, dude. We got the bugs, and then we got Garage. Everybody's saying Garrus is going to be really easy with the uh, the damage we got. Plus, he also has RP, too. So I imagine we should maybe be able to kill him pretty quickly in between all the RP sessions. When the bot just stands and yells, and we just keep blasting. <laughs> Unless, like, some ability just nukes us. I feel like the, the wheel is probably going to kill us, though. Huge. Do, 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 Okay, so we ring the thing in the middle. And I guess we just kill bugs. How much health do they have? 180. Okay, they have like no health. Wait, is this a joke? A bugs are gonna die quick. They have zero health. Are they gonna bug out? Get it? Bug out because they're bugs and all? No, are they actually gonna bug out because we kill them too fast? Because I feel like they just might. They have like no health at all. Is this a joke? Do you think, my man? God, I gotta get more health. More agi, too. Is he all solved? Oh no, he solved him a little early. Oh no. I should have chaosed it. Oh yeah, look at their health. Okay, they are coming out. Okay, good. I was thinking maybe they'll be bugging and not walking out. Do they regenerate health, like when you kill one of them? Is that how that fight works? No, it looks like one of them maybe was regenerating as the other died. But maybe it was like his own... Oh no, it looks like that is what they do. I got one more. Maybe last one. No, two more. Three more. I got these shells. I'm gonna chill myself. Evasion, just in case. I like protection. And these guys are looking to devour. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, they became big. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, oh, no, my, they just died. Okay, whatever. I was thinking I had to do mechanics, but apparently not. All right. <laughs> we died pretty quick, but there it is. Why am I getting pinged? Clasp of the assassin. <gasps> Oh, it's got a lot of leech. It's got a lot of leech. Oh, man. It's got agility, though, and crit. Crap, Chad, do we give it away to a healer or just keep it? Do we even have? We do have lead. Does he want leech? Chad, do we give or do we, do we keep or do we give? Because it's not crit, which is like a stat for me. But it looks cool, and it's got agio on it. Okay, hold on. Where's Lean? Lean, uh, can I trade it to him? Trade. Trade cancelled? Okay. Where is it? Trade? Leech. Yeah, I'll just give him to him. Oh, was it this room, actually? Was it this room that E-Trick normally cleans up for you? No, I don't think it is.
I'm gonna avoid this. Look about the image before the feral. This actually was decent for like two seconds. You say I have 36% versum. Me? With my gear? I mean, 29% is still pretty good. I have 36 on live, I think. But this isn't my life character, this is just a PGR character. And the stats are a little different this time around. I just need more gear with just straight up versatility. Crit and versatility. Like, if we can get a belt with Versa, that'd be great. That'd be a way to do it. Do you see this rising? Is, is that what's happening? Looks like they're just coming up out of nowhere. It's like they reappear. Okay, they are stunnable at least. Cool. Rod? Oh, you got the rod? The staff? Oh, that's so cool! Hell yeah! Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, can I get a shield? Help. Okay, I'm dead. I guess I have a debuff on me or something. Maybe it's taken for too much. How much damage is it taken from me? 16,000 every one second. Last one apparently hit me for like 120. Did I just have a stack up or something? Recall looks good. Is that a recolor? I didn't even realize. Are all these gear recolor? I thought this was like the originals, because that dagger looks OG. Even the fist open looks OG. Like the mythic version. I really like the chess piece though. It's so good looking. I don't know if it's a monk's one or what. Where are at Garrus though, boys? I cannot believe it. This has been so fun. What is he poking at? Oh, that guy? Doesn't the guy spawn there? Do I got a shadow step it? I'm pretty sure there used to be sub rogues that, was, that would shadow step and nuke a guy. It was like up here and maybe like up here unless i'm confusing that with uh or maybe over here unless i'm confusing that with um with blackrock foundry lever the normal recolor oh so it's like a purple oh i see yeah okay is there really no um is that like that for my fist drop on two then you think Hold on, which boss is the one that gave me fist weapon? Somebody traded it to me, I think. It was, uh... Was it this guy? Somebody traded me fist weapon earlier. I don't remember which one. Immersius. Was it this? Soft Iron Paw. Yeah, okay, so somebody... Yeah, the red version. Wait, it is a little different. Compared to the one I have. It's like... Oh no, it isn't. Okay, never mind. I'm surprised they were able to trade it to me because it wasn't even in for Mercius. But is all gear tradable on here? That'd be kind of wild. Unless it's like BOE. I'm not even sure. Unless the loot table is very different. Could be that too. Did you go child step on the guy on top? This uh, wasn't the boss HFC. If it is HFC, then yeah, never mind. I was thinking it was my might have been this guy. Okay, he's already doing RP, I think. Garrus is dead. Garrus is dead. Garrus just died. Garrus just died, dude. He just died. He just got melted. These warlocks and ferals just popped off. They picked up, I think, a feral or two. Okay, now we got a second phase. Garrus phase two. Electric Boogaloo. Is this the one with the uh, the uh, the bike, the wheel? The, uh, what is that one? Odysseus, the one with the stone or whatever. Well, he sent us into Shadow Realm. Literally in the Shadow Realm. Oh god, health. Uh, tank? I, I didn't realize this. I thought these things would run over to the tank. They apparently just stand still. Okay, I'm gonna go with the tank. I'm gonna run on my own. I'll just die. I got shields for like two seconds, but... Every single boss die in two seconds is the ferals and uh, uh, warlocks. They, they take a talents that allow them to consume. Um, they take a talents like where you consume your dots, and those apparently are like overtuned. They're just broken. 
Not all bosses have died in two seconds. Sometimes we die in two seconds. But also bosses are pretty overtuned too. So it's like a give or a take. Oh yeah, he's dead. RP. Our, dude, the RP is what lets us just wail on him and get a little bit extra additional damage. We gotta walk away from this or are we chilling? No, we're chilling. We have a couple more warlocks still, so we're okay. We only got like 30% of his health back, I think. I want a dark pack. I don't know if it's if I'm gonna just randomly die. Oh yeah, this could totally randomly kill me. We gotta soak it? Or is it just like wait? Soak or wait mechanic? Not sure. 11% of health. Still got a lot of group damage. He should be transitioning to his like next phase. Yeah. There he's going. Th th thank god I got shields, man. Literally the only reason I'm alive is because of the shields. Yeah, mythic. This is actually mythic difficulty. It's just PTR testing, us having some fun. Bosses are overtuned, everything hits super, super hard. So we're also just overtuning ourselves as well. Oh, he's got a full health bar here. Uh oh, so you got full 60%. I mean, all our warlocks are dead. It's down to the Pharaoh's man. It's down to the Pharaoh's man. Resin fern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some reses out. I almost got my void orb again. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what that does. Void orb. Oh yeah, now we're dead. Malicious energy. Yeah, we need to make sure everybody's alive, because otherwise it's just gonna make it a little bit harder here. Or a lot harder, rather. Yeah, so survivability is huge. LUAR? Yeah, everybody's getting killed by LUARs too. Ads? I never actually get to fully see this part of the fight. That's a lot of ads summons. Yeah, we need everybody alive, otherwise it's not gonna be doable. I never really realized just how many phases this man has. My man's garage got so many phases, it is just unlucky. Alpha on Wednesday? Okay. Mythic, hell yeah, this looks insane. Garage was the first curve I got. Stopped at level six, uh, low 62 in PTR, don't want to spoil it too early, can't wait. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, a lot of people have done that too. A lot of people like didn't even try to join in PTR because they were like, well, well, a lot of people ask like, wait, is this going to transfer? Like, can you get progress in PTR now so that progress can transfer once it goes live? And when they find out like the progress does not transfer, a lot of players decided that they're going to skip and wait until it goes live. Which I think is a good way of going about it, right? If you just want to enjoy and consume content. But I'm out here like, you know, just testing stuff out, getting a good view of it. Making some clips out of it, stuff like that, you know, doing the YouTuber stuff. Yeah, guys, I think it's Alpha Draw Real Troop Plus. No stream until Wednesday. No stream until Wednesday. Both Chowley and Liquid Max. Is that real? Are those tweets real? Might be. Just a reminder, you cannot make an evoker on the same server as the one you make an evoker on. They gotta lift that restriction. They definitely gotta lift it. For sure. Set personals for last phase. Yeah, we're gonna need them. Gonna need them. Also, stay safe at the very beginning. Can't lose that many people. They're early. Because we made it to the last phase. We just gotta find a way to live until that phase. Evoker thing is so stupid. Yeah, it's gonna make it impossible to play Evoker on this mode. Unless you don't play Evoker on the regular. Or you... They're gonna have to lift their restriction just for this. Hold on, boss here. All right. Is it pull him to center? Okay. Trying to stay in stealth as long as I can so I can get my orb done. I guess we'll lessen at the end. Okay, one guy went down. That's a warlock, which is an unfortunate situation. I'm actually gonna save a lot of my damage until he does his RP. I'm gonna pop some cooldowns. Just to make the phase go down even a little bit faster. Not like I'm really all that helpful. Like to be fair. 
And if he drops out an axe, I'm gonna stay in and cloak it. No, he's not doing that yet. I think we skipped that phase entirely, actually. Or maybe that he does it after he comes out of this. I'm just gonna stay back with everybody here. What is this, a dot? Okay, in the realm of Garrosh. Now we're chilling. Just stay together, kill stuff together, nuke it all. Can I blind these? Can I stun them? Okay, they're all dead. Pop an evasion just in case. Looked like he was maybe targeting me for a second, I don't know. Dodgers, Dodgers, Dodgers. One guy down, down. He still does a lot of AoE damage every time he swings that. Yeah. Does he hit harder every time? Feels like he does hit a little hard. Okay, we didn't lose a lot of people here yet. Uh, hopefully we won't lose more. Okay, if we keep everybody here, I think we'll have enough for last phase. He's only gonna gain 30% of his health here, but it's still gonna be pretty rough. Yeah, 30%. If we can just keep nuking him, we'll be fine. I'm a cloak. When he drops down the axe, and just soak it solo if I can. Yep, I'm gonna cloak it. Run out. Soak it as much as I could. Kill Garrosh. He's got a lot of health back. Is that normal? How do you heal so much? Whirlwind? Is it this, this thing you're gonna kill? Hard weapon? Might be. Okay, now he's MCing us. Okay, we messed something up there. Not sure what we messed up. Was it just taunt? We got too much of aggro, I guess. Or maybe we got too much dots? Or something. I don't know. We got MC'd. We, we wiped that one. We did worse this time around than last time. Was the evoker restriction so it's kind of like the death knight restriction demon knight restriction that they had initially um you know how like death knights used to be you can only make one death knight on a realm or one demon hunter on a realm because they were a hero class evokers still have that hero class restriction which is going to be lifted in war within because evokers no longer have the same hero class thing where you can just make one at level 58 right where you start at a higher level, instead of Vokers will start at level 10, they'll still do their intro experience, but they'll level with everybody else with dungeons and stuff. Um, yeah, so for now, Evoker still has that hero class restriction, you can only have one of them at a time. So hopefully they'll change it, adjust it, do something with it. Yeah, what's up, uh, Moots? Hard to find groups in PTR, how to? Is it hard? Uh, it all depends if somebody makes one. There were two groups from Mythic Raid and I joined one of them. That was a bug. Res skip. Make sure you all report it. Uh, boss randomly healed in P3. I think it's P3. There we go. Makes sense. Thanks. No problem. Tell everyone to shield you <laughs> to shield like you. Um, they could. I don't know if they're running like a com damage combo or not, but yeah, it definitely helps. That's your Yoshiraj and empower your Yoshiraj. Those abilities will afflict players with the touch of Yosha Raj. Players will try to spread touch of Yosha Raj. Touch of Yosha Raj is removed when the players reduce to 50% max health. When Garrosh reaches 50 energy, touch of Yosha Raj becomes empowered. 50 energy will afflict players with empowered touch of Yosha Raj, transforming them into a, a uh, Sha Tha that is immune. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's how he MC'd us. He pops the debuff on us. We gotta get to low health in order to remove the touch of Yosha Raj. But. Also, is it touch of Yasharaj or Yasharaj? Because everybody at WoW calls it Yasharaj. Every voice line is Yasharaj. Although, it's written like Yasharaj. I was called it Yasharaj. Am I the only one? Am I stupid? Because literally, voice lines, everybody calls it Yasharaj. One of the old gods or whatever. Whose heart is up here? 
I always like this one though. Like we never actually Yeah, Sharaj. That's how I always said it. Everybody around me said it like that too. But you can't read, so I don't know. I'm not reading, I'm just going off of like how I heard it. That's all I'm going off of. Okay. Ain't no reading of all. Just me using a bit my tiny brain. Using my tiny brain. It avoided him. I must feel like maybe I should say void for like later phases. Null and void. Okay, yeah, weapon got taken out. Jesus, we have two people down already. Can we get in Beerus or something? How do you guys die? Buddy. Oh, was that me down there? For a second? No, it was somebody else. Alright, he's gonna get a full reheal here. Beerus? Yeah, Beerus him. We're gonna need the damage. Okay, we're going in. Cool, just stay together. And that's all we gotta do. Just stick together. Everything will die. It'll all die. Trust. Trust, trust, trust. We'll pop a defensive here. I'm gonna stay in front of him because it looked like he targeted me at some point. Hey, I think he just targets randomly. Lost two. Lost another one. It looks like every time he does this annihilate ability, he lo we lose somebody. This kind of sucks. Oh yeah, we lost a lot of people. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh yeah. I could feign it to at least reduce it quite a bit, but damn. Yeah, we lost so many people there. We gotta have, like, a lot more damage going on or something. I mean, we're still doing decent damage to him even at the end there, but... What else can he do? Fair and log, they're busted. How much damage? <laughs> How are they doing so much damage? How are they doing so much? So it's uh, right now a lot of stuff in the uh, this whole game mode of uh, Mr. Pandora Remix is a little bit it's just experimental, right? Very, very experimental. Um, I'll give us up. Did I sign up for it? Mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> It's experimental and there's a lot of things that are broken. Right now, a lot of the bosses are doing a little bit too much damage or are scaled way, way too high. But also certain class abilities such as anything that consumes damage over time abilities is also doing a lot more damage than intended. So Feral Jews, Destro Warlocks are just doing ridiculous amounts of damage with their Infernal Combustion ability or Internal Combustion. So you're basically leveraging that as well as the uh, Tear Open Wounds and Tear Dot ability to do a ton of damage. So it is just uh it's a it's a lot of damage being we're being carried by those numbers specifically. Or pull an upgrade if need be. Last trap for me. Oh no, we're gonna lose super. So late. Oh, I guess it is for EU, isn't it? I don't have a lot of bronze to like upgrade my stuff, but I guess like I could go through it all. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they were doing a lot, man. I was pronounced as Yasha Raj. Okay, same. Same, 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 same. What? Nobody DPS on Saki hard phase DPS enter. But enter though, but dodge. Just look at the ground. Okay. Then I'll raise the trinkets in this mode. They are. You just gotta do. You just gotta complete achievements in order to earn them. Like you gotta complete the entire achievement for escalation to get a timer's beacon. 
You gotta get all the heroic scenarios done for one of the rings. For a timer and a seal, you gotta do heroic Pandaria dungeons. Um, and I think another item you can get is Claw of Eternus. You gotta get heroic Pandaria raids done. So you have to do like content and achievements in order to get some of these items. All right? That's kind of how it works. Okay, so we blasted through this phase really, really quickly. Yeah, everybody's alive. Nobody should have been dead here. So to be fair. Oh, there's a guy over here. Hold on. Can I can I hit him? Oh, he's actually got a star. Oh god. Oh Dodgers. Oh <laughs> everybody died. Man, no way. Okay, yeah, this is over. This is a rip, man. That's pretty cool. So you want to get up to escalation through all the content. You basically can go and do all of the uh achievements and all of the uh, story quest signs basically day one. Or as soon as you hit like a certain level cap, which I don't remember exactly how much of a level you need. Yeah, this is not gonna be doable with this many dead. Last time, dude, we went even slower than last time. What happened? Our ferals were pumping, but like the damage that it was just absolutely like not the same, man. We're just gonna die here. All oh, these things are stunnable. Not normal stunnable, right? Yeah, we're just dead. Let me get another mix going, if I can. Kathun is absolutely mind uh is the absolute mind f out of all those old gods. Yeah. Uh if you had uh, no lock, no druid right now, it would be impossible, right? Uh it might be possible if you had like giga gear on everybody and like practice, but yeah, no, like this damage is letting us bypass a lot of the mechanics. Like a large swath of the mechanics. Everybody upgrade. I don't even have a lot of bronze to upgrade with, man. Need two more warlocks and ferals, yeah. We just need two more. Do, 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 do. I'm not I'm just gonna stick around. I'm gonna be the guy with so many portals. Uh, the more I learned about this mode, the more I want to be permanent facet of the game. I, I think they're going to make it a limited time feature because they were not sure what the reaction for this was going to be. Kind of like Plunderstorm, right? I don't think they knew if people were going to like Plunderstorm or hate Plunderstorm. I think they just wanted to make Plunderstorm and see how it works out. But I don't think they're against like making this like a, a feature of WoW at some point, right? Because what if like they're trying to figure out like what plunderstorm should they, how long should it be around should it come back every now and then should it be some kind of a seasonal thing like towards the end of an expansion to bring plunderstorm back and then let people play what kind of changes should there be what kind of reward should there be you know things like that and it's like they had an interview between max and the guy that uh basically led i think the whole plunderstorm or um i think led Ker kirby Kirby. um i think led the creation production Implementation of Plunderstorm, I think, or just like this head, the head for it, either or. Um, and just talking about like, there's a lot of conversations I've had like, how long should it stick around? Should it be a regular thing? Should it be up all the time? You know what I mean? Like, they're tr trying to figure out like, how could they get a bunch of players playing it constantly if it's out or you know? They're, so they're trying to figure that stuff out. They're thinking about all these things, but they initially added it. I was like, maybe people will hate it, but at least it'll be something fun that you can do and get a bunch of rewards, and then it'll be gone and you don't have to worry about it. Don't even think about it. But people ended up loving it. And I feel like this mode has the same potential, right? I mean, the interest with it is super, super high. Even before we even got a PTR, people instantly had interest in this. Immediately. And then it, PTR came out, and we got to see the gameplay, and the interest just kept growing. So, it could be something that maybe is a fast little wow, Maybe it'll be a more regular thing. Maybe it'll come back from season to season or towards like a lull of a patch cycle, right? Towards the end of one of the raid tiers, they'll bring this back to give players a reason to go back through another expansion that they can kind of like replay and re-gear through retail, like 
you know, retail class design and whatnot. Being more realistic with my message, I think bringing it around, especially would be amazing. Yeah, I think that's probably a likely outcome. Something they will do towards an end. But like, they could also do this more regularly when like there's a patch lull. Like, Dragonflight as an expansion generally has been pretty active when it comes to regular implementation of like patches from like a, like a major of this like the 10.0 with the first rate 10.1 10.2 right but then also like the 10.15 10.17 10.25 10.27 on top of it too right though all of these have been pretty good so far it's just been regular stream of content and that's something they haven't always done with other expansions we could see a situation where maybe they'll slow down on the 10 to 7s 10 to 6s or a 10 to 6 in the future or 10 1 6 or 10 0 6 or 11 0 6 right 11 0 5 11 0 7 might end up being this when there's like okay it's gonna be a bit before the next raid we're gonna release this mode here's something to do time running wad i hope they don't do time running wad soon i'm hoping they'll do time running mop i'd like to see time running wrath I think that'd be cool. Imagine replaying all the stuff from Wrath all over again. I'd like to see that. I think that'd be cool. Like, really, really cool. Imagine doing, like, a level up raid through Ulduar. How cool would that be? And, like, a lot of the raids, in, at least in Ulduar, like, time running, time walking wise, works. But, like, this version of SOD that we're playing right now at level 70, this is, I think, a cooler version of time walking. Because you know how you can time walk Old War Raid or Burn Black Temple or Firelands, right? I think this is a cooler version of time walking because I'm a level 70 character using all these weird gems and upgrade systems or whatever. And we're fighting Garrosh as a level 70 boss on a mythic difficulty. I guess normally it would be heroic or whatever, but still, either way. Next up, time running Shadowlands. Eventually, I think we will work up there by the expansion that by midnight, or yeah, by midnight, by the expansion that follows War Within. I don't think we'll be seeing Shadowlands anytime soon. No, 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 no. I think there's still a lot of sour grapes about it, Shadowlands. I, I, it's, it's, yeah. Not that. I actually do want to see is, is this tweet from Tally and Lick and Max, if those are real. Hold on. Max. Liquid Max. Li oh, Maximum. Maximum. Is he actually not streaming till Wednesday? Yeah, no stream till Wednesday. Or is it just everybody memeing? Oh, London. That would make sense, actually. Yeah, they're probably going to like. Hey, they're probably going to announce in London. Because. What is it? The. Um, Holly Longdale recently. Um, announced that she's uh, traveling to London, or she landed in London for like an EU creator meetup. Yeah, they're they're announcing stuff, man. I'll be streaming tomorrow on my chart tomorrow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> slid bag is beaming it off. Oh man, hold on, let me see what Holly Longdale wrote exactly. Holly Longdale, is that how you spell Holly? Is it two L's? Oh, she's um. What's her tag on Twitter for Holly Longdale? There we go. Windstalker. There we go. Yeah, Windstalker. Um, excited to be in London about World of Warcraft with the press and creators this week. IRL dynamic flight like is a be damn. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, they're setting something up. London is such a bad place. I've never been to London. Never been to London. Yeah, and the wild devs in the comments are also just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> KVX in <and> there too. <laughs> this has been uh, bludgeon with his previous comment. You're good, you're good. Imagine, yo. In Shadowlands uh, time running, I won't hate it. Then we just need to give it like a long wait before we actually get to play it. It has to be some time, man. There's still wounds. The wounds, champion. The wounds are still fresh. The wounds champion. <laughs> the wounds are still oozing with the maw <laughs> and Stygia. Dude, I think it's gonna be okay. Relatable illness. Shadowlands time running is gonna be acceptable when words like Stygia, Corsia, Anima, and uh, what is it? Torgast no longer have like this like feeling in the back of your mind that makes you want to like strangle something like no longer when you have ptsd from these four words four words 
then I think it'll be acceptable for us to have Shadowlands time running. Like, I'm not against it, it's just... It, 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 it... <sighs> you know how Uther had like a slash through his heart? Where Arthur just literally stole his soul. Same thing with Sylvanas. That's the player base of Shadowlands, man. That entire expansion just like stole our souls. It just ready for Veiled Market. I'll be okay with that. If it's straight up just Veiled Market and that's it, I'm okay. Because I love the brokers. And Taz of Ash, part one and part two of the Mega Dungeon was a banger. Literally the best dungeon of that expansion. I'm okay with that. The brokers, probably one of the coolest parts of the expansion. Easily. They're so mysterious. I love the whole entire culture. It's like futuristic, spacey, but also not really. I love it. They were awesome. I watched a video last night about Jalen's plan was Earth. Mortis is actually interested in me. I have literally... I, I don't think he has any plans. <laughs> I don't think he had any plans to serve Mortis. It looks like he just wanted to override the reality or something. It was, it was a mess. It was a mess. It was a waste. Jailer is a mess. Jailer is a waste. It's a shame uh, no one out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It Look, they had some kind of idea. They were probably trying to figure it out. And then patch 10, 9.1 dropped. And like, oh, the lawsuit stuff happened. And it's just, they were like, okay, wrap it up. The, at some point, you could tell they just stopped really trying to like really hammer the story home. They were more just trying to wrap it up. And they were not, they were not apologetic about it. And anybody that got angry at them, for trying to wrap up Shadowlands storyline, just be like, all right, whatever, whatever, let's just move on to the next thing. I don't understand that mindset. Like, why are you angry about an expansion that just, it just didn't come together well. Just, can we just leave it? It's okay if it didn't have a fully fleshed finalized story. It's okay. They don't need to put more time into it. Literally just go to Dragonflight. And like, I guess Dragonflight story-wise, like it, some people said, it doesn't really feel like Warcraft because it's all about family and stuff. And it's like, at least we're not fighting like a colossal threat. So I think people like colossal threats at the end of the day, though. I feel like that's what we've learned is people do like colossal threats. And just a big bat over on the horizon that we're just constantly pursuing. Arthur was there. Okay, I mean, Arthur's, I think they probably were trying to find a storyline to weave because they're tr contrasting Anduin and Arthur's a ton, right? Even when you watch the War Within cinematic, right? The announcement trailer where him and Thrall are hanging out in Siltus, right? And then Thrall just literally puts his hand gently on his shoulder and the guy just spazzes. And he, the way he busts his swords out to like point at Thrall, it's Arthur's when he takes the Frostmourne out of the ice in his cinematic and like points it collects a bunch of souls, stabs into their eyes, shatters. It was an awesome cinematic. Uh, how do you have 10 to 7? PTR, public test realms. You can hop on them. It's a, a, the new mode is available. I mean, PTR is available for everybody. Public test realms, it's test realms available to the public. Anybody can hop on and play them. Uh, anyway, like they're contrasting it so hard. And I think they probably had some kind of a storyline. They just never finished it. And at some point they were like, all right, this thing is just, let's wrap it up as much as we can and get out of here. And they kept that story, whatever they had left in there. They probably kept it just as like remnants of it. But they were probably trying to get out of there and wash their hands of it. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, man. All right, let's kill the boss. Let's see if we can kill Garrosh. I think we may be, depending how much more time anybody else got in this group to do this. Because I'm down to kill the boss, man. I'm trying to kill him here. The chat bug, Jesus. That chat bug. <laughs> okay. Yeah, keep him in the void. Yeah. Can't let him avoid the void. How did that guy die? I like that guy shouldn't have been dead, but there it is. Rest in peace, friend. I need to slice and dice again. Oh, bummer. I'm messing it up. Not like my rotation really matters here, right? I just gotta live. I just gotta exist and survive. Although, I wonder if I went like super aggressive on my damage, that would be better. Or if I could do like any reasonable damage. Okay, we're gonna go in. Pop up shield. Oh, a lot of us took damage there. Okay, so we shouldn't uh, aggro those things that early. We just chill. That's what you should do. Yeah, this thing is stunnable. Let's see if I can aim it over here. Faint, come on, don't be in it. Oh, two people were in. 
One, this guy's a feral and he could move, just didn't move. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work this time around. He's gonna dodge, man. Okay, I fainted that. I literally reduced damage by half and I still took a lot of damage there. Yeah, then Annihilate, Annihilate seems to do more damage every single slam, it feels like. Or maybe that's me doing something, bugging something. Yeah, with most of us dead, I don't think it's gonna happen. He is lowish on health though, but he's still got another phase. Which is gonna send him to 30%, but... Yeah, the damage is kinda just gone. Damn. And now we got MC'd. Yeah. That's where we gotta slam through him. Uh, we lost a couple of people with that, like, somebody attacking the ads a little early. Yeah, now they're just spreading touch of your to everybody. I died really early there. My Onk actually did prog there too. Frostworm is doing work, and Kindle is not as effective as I thought it might be. Uh, I don't think... Oh wait, yeah, it is MC, but like... Uh, hard swap? Okay. I kind of like Dragonflate's story or like Sarkarath and Embeltho's story. Yeah, I like it too. Like, I like the whole... The, the, the Evoker stuff I think was pretty neat. Right? And like the little, it's not like a, a, a end of th apocalyptic threat you're having to deal with. But I really wish we had more with a Ritterkhan and all them. I feel like we need more Ritterkhan. I like the end of the good, uh, they're doing a cool direction with it. I'm excited to see how it affects them. I really do hope to put Thrall and Ender and like, hey, let's actually give them like a good bit in the spotlight. Because it's a real, really cool characters. People love them. I know they got uh, three spotlights to share, uh, spotlight to share between and the win between Thrall and between um, Alaria. So hopefully they'll do like a decent bit. Hopefully they'll give them like all oh, a little bit of time to shine in spotlight. World of Warcraft more likely than Fast and Furious. <laughs> World of Fast and Furious with family. I don't know, man. I think we needed a chill expansion. I think going from one apocalyptic threat of us fighting the afterlife itself to like another apocalyptic threat, I don't think that was the way to go, honestly. I think that could have been really bad. Harbinger of the Void? I mean, that kind of looks like a harb... Uh... I think it's too much yellow. I think if you're Shadow Priest, all that yellow is fine, but... What do you, what do you think, chat? I'm not feeling it. This guy just randomly linked it saying this one is Harbinger of the Void. Unless it means like the staff. Nah, I don't know. Not quite. Watch Noble at Odell? I used to watch a ton of Noble. I don't get him recommended on my YouTube recommendeds as much anymore. That's basically what I watch on YouTube is whatever it's just showing me on my recommendeds. Um, I haven't seen him in a good bit now. Well, cozy and soft. There is no bad thing. I think it's just an attempt at ground and storyline with a super apocalyptic threat. Yeah. I, they were trying to go for like, look, for years people said, hey, can we just have like a more down to earth expansion where we aren't fighting the big bad? And they did do this for this expansion and they were like, wait, not like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't really know. Because <laughs> I feel like for years people have always said, hey, can we just have one, no like, no apocalypse level threat? Or I think what I'm going to do, chat, is I'm going to use a blend sphere after the phase one. I'm just going to kind of start in the opener, just use all my abilities off the bat do damage and use my void after he transforms to hopefully maybe make that phase go by a little quicker maybe that'll be the play and now he's gonna transform and i'm gonna hit him with a chaos orb when that does because he's gonna go like send us into the void uh now now just bump out of mid. I think we're chilling. That's why you want to pump them. Uh, we're not really pumping them as much as I thought we would. I think all the Pharaohs backed up out of the way, so the Chaos Orb didn't really do as much as I hoped it would. Because, look, there's so much downtime, and I thought it would be just chilling with RP. 
There we go. We'll just get AoE stun with a drone rush. Yeah, AoE stuns here help a bunch. Can I blind them? No, I can't. Good silence, though. That works. Okay, we just need to live this next part. Kidney. Okay, we just gotta live. Do damage and live. But he died, insta. We're okay. Two died there? What the hell? Is it's just gotta be people not moving, right? It's gotta just do like pretending they're stumps. Wait, how'd you die, Jake? Uh oh. Personal uh cloak? Does that do anything? Yeah, cloak works. Okay, so we have to get into like 30% in order to leave that place. So maybe a lightning storm there might help. Maybe that's what it should switch out to. Behind him and still died. Okay, so it just might be like the AoE damage that goes out, yeah? Okay, so MC went out and we got him. Cool. Hard roll. Did I do anything? Do we just take, stay away maybe? I don't even know what we do here. I guess just stay away. Yeah, there you gotta just press the defensive because he still does raid by damage when he uh, hits it with one of those. Stay out of the axe. I mean, we have people. We have bodies. I just don't know if we have enough bodies, but I'm hoping we have enough. Crowds are still pumping. Stun him. Interrupt your Shiraj. Stun him again. Nice. So at least we got the MCs out of the way. That's kind of good. Still lost people, but... Better than nothing. I'm gonna stand here and heal. Rowan. Yeah. With a weapon. Kinda hurts. Try to see if I can get these ads to run up to the tank, maybe. If we can stun one. Try to stun him. Wait again. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, try to stun him. Nice. Guess we got this guy stunned. Blind him. Poke it. Gotta break past the shield and get his health low. Nice. Cool. Yeah, CC in them and just like, I, that's my job as a rogue right now, is just to CC. I imagine. About all I can do. Get the kicks out of the way, all that. Help uh, boss manage aggro. Okay, we're actually going final, not final phase. Oh, we skipped the phase entirely. Oh, this is so weird. I've never done this before. Oh, this is weird. I didn't know there was another phase after that. Oh, this is wild. Holy, is it gonna be another AoE stompy thing? I guess we just burned him super, super quick there, didn't we? Were we supposed to? Another beer is available. Probably get another DPS, honestly. Get a Feral or whatever. Did it reset? Oh, he's so reset. He totally just reset on us. Oh, man. Well, that was going so good, dude. We're doing well. Just looked it up in Annihilate moves when he does an instant death on a massive area. I think he gets stronger per, uh, per cast and per death. Oh, it might be, yeah. Keep looking for it to be sure. Yeah, it definitely, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he has a buff that tells it, that tells you that Annihilate every single time it strikes, it hits harder and harder. There's no buff that, on the boss that tells you that, does it? Or maybe it's in here somewhere? Annihilate. Uh, after absorbing power and heritage Garrosh will cast an ally inflicting 2.5 million shadow damage to enemies within 50 yards in front and a bunch of shadow damage to all enemies in the realm of Yasharaj. So it doesn't look like it has any kind of like damage buff. Hmm. Faith reduces damage taken by 50% this effect stacks, so you gotta get consumed faith buff. 
That's what you gotta do. Everything you kill here, you gotta get consumed faith, consumed hope. In order to reduce damage by 50%. That's why that thing does so much damage. You gotta get a debuff to reduce the damage taken. And it looks like every time you kill a guy, like a, uh, like a holy orb flies out and like hits the ground. So maybe you gotta stack under it and grab one. Maybe a GM in here and testing it. So I want to play through certain phases of the fight. Maybe. Are the ads drop big orbs when they die. Everyone should try to grab one. Yeah, I have stopped seeing them for a while. Heroic Siege, Mythic Siege, Blade, Mythic Siege. Over in the, uh, the new mode on PTR. GM start playing with us. If there's a GM here, that'd be kind of cool. I imagine like this is a good opportunity for them to see how the fights are being done and tested. I mean, they get to see like how how much damage we're doing. Yo, Soulmonger does a lot, by the way. Vindication. Okay, they are trying to play heals. <laughs> they are trying to do group healing when they can. Man, pushing fast with this mechanic that I remember. Must be not difficult for it to be mythic. It's weird. Some people are playing with a lot of bug talent, so we're trying to like get a good pick. <laughs> Just gotta have some fun with the content, see the fights, see how it plays or whatnot. Yeah, scaling is all kinds of busted for this raid um, for classes as well as for some of the mechanics. Some mechanics should be benign or one shotting, so it's kind of nuts. The only new interactions of Warlocks and Ferals doing thousands, millions of DPS. True, true. GM, if you're here, show yourself. Yeah, if there's an actual GM, dude, that's invisibly flying around, that'd be dope. Infern hidden for 1.5 billion Holy Mother of Magnet. Yeah, yeah, he's doing a lot of damage. His uh, infernal, co internal, internal combustion as well as the feral rip and tear challenge are doing a lot of damage. So yeah, that's the only way we'll be able to see these fights right now. We even had to skip one of the bosses just because the cannons weren't working. I don't think they really plan for this place to be testable on Mythic. Um, but yeah, the fact that we're getting through it is kind of nice though. It's kind of fun. And we actually, like I'm actually getting to do mechanics too, to some degree. I'm not doing any damage. Nobody really is unless you're Feral or a Warlock, but still. So funny, dude, it's hilarious. It is some Legion ass numbers right now. It's great. Yeah, so Jake, look out for orbs when we're in that like a uh, Yesharaj phase when you get like sucked up into the heart. Just like look out, stand next to the ads when they die and look out for like an orb or anything yellow glowing and just grab it and stuff. Because if you have the 50% DR with that, that is going to be huge. Legion numbers. We're going to get there and War Within, I'm telling you right now. We're all we're already on the way there. We're going to start doing those kind of numbers soonish. Because now we're doing like, what, 200k DPS is going to be like 400, 500. It's going to get to a million by the end of next year. Okay, I'm going to hit him with a Void instantly. He keeps it in here. Okay, that should be close enough, I think. Okay, at least he got debuffed by the way. That's fine. Phasing him in the opener is not that bad. It's just what it comes after. Oh, the bikes? Oh, oh we're dead. <laughs> I guess we went too slow and the wheels came out. Wheels and the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Bro just died, yeah. Normally we phase them so fast that we don't get the wheels, but we got the wheels there. Yeah. <laughs> Wipe it up. Yeah, just die. Just draw the aggro and the ads and just let them kill you. That's like the best way to do it. Uh, time running Legion and they were Mage Star back to back. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. Time running Legion, even to bring back Legos and everything. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Although, 
uh, with time running here, we don't get like tier sets, we get gems. And I wonder if they're going to just do a, a different kind of system for gear. Like right now, we're doing these gems in our items in order to give us different powers or whatever. But I wonder if time running Legion or like other expansions for time running are going to do a different system altogether. I wonder if they're going to bring Azra gear back too, you know? That would be something. Because in Legion, Legion was defined by all the legendaries, so I wonder if like you could upgrade items to a legendary level and then pick what legendary power you want on them. So instead of having gems, you basically pick your Legos. You upgrade items until you get legendary status, and then you're just like wearing legendaries head to toe. Time running professions? Yeah, imagine. Imagine. Yeah, now we're dead. Hmm, I actually need like two more heroics. Yeah, Siege of Ozawa and Stormstar Brewer, and I almost have like all my achievements for heroics. Or Stormstar Brewer, I also need that heroic. I'm actually very, very close to getting heroics done. Not like I can do them now, because eventually this thing is going to be closing up. Experience the Mythic and Magic Classic cooking once more. Yeah, that'd be something. Oh, wait, what if they did a Classic WoW? But like time running Classic WoW. Time running vanilla wow. And you get to do BWL as like a leveling raid. How cool would that be? How awesome would that be, man? That actually would be dope. As a human from Mythic Garage? I, I imagine so. I'm not sure. Let me look. Uh Orados, Zuen, White Tiger, Nuzao, Nalak, Heroic, Mythic Siege. Yeah, there's an achievement from Mythic Siege to kill all the bosses. As for Garrosh specifically, there isn't. There is one for doing fights in Siege of Agamar. Little Thunder, Terrace, Heart of Fear, Mogushan Vaults, Raid Finder stuff. I could have done the second part of Raid Finder here too. That would have been a Bronze Cache as well. DBC do Black Temple? Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Oh, why do I waste some time? Practice. Specifically just practicing, just to see more of it. Because some people are new that got brought in. We do need we do have two more spots. So if you could get like another Pharaoh, another Warlock, that'd be great. Or at this point, really anybody. Brittle. I mean that's another way of doing it too. <laughs> Sun will SCC rating would be cool. That too, yeah. I thought I saw one Mythic Garage achievement in my bed. Um, Mythic Siege. Maybe it's right here in here somewhere. Mythic Garage. Realm First Mythic Garage. To see that. Uh, although apparently Mythic uh, like Realm First achievements are like bugged. Like I don't think they were supposed to be in it. Or not part of this mode. I could be wrong though. But yeah, you did see it right. I'm just gonna watch out for that guy up top now, just in case we need to shadow step. Although, yeah, they're they're pulled. I can't even reach him. Oh never mind. I thought I could step into him. Oh yeah, he's gotta kill people. Star. Oh we're dead. Yeah. Oh, only two people died. Wait, only two people died. Hold on, this is still doable. We res one, right? Res one of them. We pick up orbs. I stun one of them. Hope we get some CC. Do they die and make an orb? I'm not seeing any orbs. Oh, there's an orb. Grab one. Your face, off, 
Okay, so we grabbed some. We got an orb, 50% damage taken, reduced. There's an orb here. Okay, most of us have an orb. Everybody else needs to pop a defensive. Oh yeah, with an orb, nothing hits hard. I mean, my shields are barely taking up. Yeah. Oh yeah, 50% damage reduction with a shield. We're chilling. We're vibing. So I just don't want to take the frontal. Feels like we're a little more lively now. Okay, now it's starting to kind of hurt. Just a little. Just a wee bit. Okay. So that is how you're supposed to do is pick up the orbs. Resin Fern? Yeah, yeah, get him up and running. Uh, I need to be stunned. Good. Good. And he's taking a lot of damage right now. He should be phasing, right? Hopefully. He's at 8%. Okay, yeah, now he's phasing. And we have Chaos Orb coming up very, very soon. I don't know if I want to use Chaos Orb now. Is he going to go into the big, like, uh, phase now? Or how does it go? I mean, he should die here pretty quick, right? It's just 30%. So there's a lot of health. Even if 30%. Okay, he's dropping quick. I'm gonna Chaos Orb him once we get into the uh, final, final phase. Interrupt him. Nice, got him. He's healed? Is he supposed to heal? Is that normal? Or is it like, is that somebody of Blizz healed him? Is that normal? I guess we'll just keep going for a bit, see how it goes, but... Damn. Looked like we were about to phase him, maybe, but... Oh, everybody died. I just gotta one-shot us. At this point, yeah, I'm just gonna get him seed. Let see me. Damn. Plot armor and turn to timeline. Maybe that's Blizz somebody at Blizz like, killing him or something, who knows, right? Everybody's in the healing tinkers and get some seed are healing him. Oh, oh, lol. Uh, take off healing tinkers. That's why. Mostly for barrels and mostly barrels and warlocks. Yeah, take off, take off vindication. Yeah, okay, 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 that's what's doing it. Okay, that makes sense, because... Never mind, not a GM then. <laughs> so, for a lot of Pharaohs are running this one gem called Vindication, and what this gem does, it... Well, while equipped, 10% of your damage is collected as Vindication every 3 seconds. Vindication is then consumed to heal 3 nearby allies within 50 yards for the amount that is consumed. But Garrosh mind controls them, so they technically make it so that the enemy that's mind controlled is friendly to Garrosh. And if they have a Vindication stocked up, ready to unleash, when they get mind controlled, all of this millions of damage, right, is converted to a large heal, and that it heals Garrosh instead. It is a mad, actually just mad amount of healing. Look at that Vindication. And if you look, maybe you'll see that they healed Garrosh. I don't think that's on the tooltip. Yeah, it wouldn't show up in details. But yeah, I think that's how Garrosh is healing right now. It is crazy. Yeah, it's it's wild. Giga Brain played by Garrosh, yeah. There we go. As long as I don't have like a way to heal Garrosh, I think we'll be okay. Because he was at 30%, like that should have been a phase. Okay, hopefully everybody took it off. Let's see how this goes. Because so far we've got really, really good pulls on this guy. 
Like, we might actually be able to kill him here. Raising him. We got bikes. Okay, everybody gets hit, killed by the wheel. They're kind of trolling. Oh, did they get the other one? Oh, they got the other side. Oh, hell yeah. We didn't lose anybody from this. Hell yeah, man. Okay, we're going to get sent up top now. Sent <laughs> up top, upstate. Up the into the to the state. <laughs> I can't even talk right now, dude. I'm just gonna stop. Good stun. Orb. I'm not seeing any. Maybe these guys don't spawn an orb. Maybe the guys up here spawn an orb. These guys spawn an orb, I think. Or maybe specific ones spawn an orb. Just gotta look out for them. Okay, we got an orb. Nice. We got that. Okay, most of us got a buff. Tanks don't, but most of us have a buff. So this is good. So should be able to mostly just like not worry about our health and just damn. Okay, massive. Oh yeah, look at us. Now we're healthy. We still need a lot of healing, but normally we would have a lot of like group healing, passive healing, but right now we just have to do damage and live. One guy down, but it's okay. We can maybe res him. Maybe there's like a warlock or somebody useful. Sounds bad when I say it like that. Okay, Garz is at 26%. Mad. We can push him here. Okay, we should get an axe here, hopefully. And we'll still just push him. Unless he's RP RPs, so we don't even have a mechanic. He's gonna get 30% and we don't have a heal anymore on him. So we should hopefully be able to keep pumping. We'll have Chaos uh, Orb for when he actually goes into the big phase. So just keep pumping. He's gonna have a lot of health here. Yep. Now he's at 1%, so now he's gonna phase. So in the opener, just pump. We gotta lust this. Uh, lust, wi lust when we go in there. And pump. This is gonna be the phase, dude. This is gonna be the phase. Oh boy. Lust this. I'm gonna press uh, my drums if I have to. Me on um, lust. And then we just go in. I got chaos orb for them and everything. Nice. Send send everything. Is it 58% health? Okay, yeah, he's melting. He's already going he's going to the farm. He's going home. Send him home, boys. Send him home. Press the defensive. I don't know what's gonna happen. Just live. Yep. Only a few of us died. Oh, Mr. Garage Boys! Woo! Give me that loot! Ray, get me a res! Yo, you better give me a res, my guy. Give me a res. I want to see what kind of loot we got. Mr. Garage Boys! Yo, Anthony, where you at? We actually got him! <laughs> but it takes zero damage to that pull. I mean, God mode, honestly. God mode. Does he get gear? Are we in combat? There we go. To the farm, boys. Send him to the farm. Get him out of here. <laughs> well, is this world first Mythic Garage on PTR? World second, apparently. Oh, we're not even first? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we totally earned this one, boys. Definitely earned this one. I got legs. Eh. That's okay. Legs are okay. Do I just want to give it up with somebody? Maybe. Anybody get anything good? Waste? Oh, can I get the waste? Can I get that cinch? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take the cinch actually. I don't know if anybody's giving them up. That's it. That's all. That's all. It's a road, boys. That's everything. What do you think about the Rogue in season four? Do you think it's gonna be good in remix? I think Rogues are gonna be fine in remix. Like once they fix all the towns, yeah, I think Rogues are gonna be good in remix. We we're generally pretty good. One of the, we were generally one of those classes that was really good during the corruption days in BFA. And if you didn't play back in BFA, corruptions basically gave you like all these abilities that were part of our armor that had debuffs but also buffs and there were some like 
damage buffs, proc buffs, stat buffs, and we generally were really good with those. I think Demon Hunters are usually one of the better uh, bar of power classes, but Rogues were also pretty good. I think we're going to be good in Remix. Season 4, we should be fantastic. We generally scale well with endgame gear. Subtlety, Assass, both should be really, really strong in Season 4. Yeah, so Rogue is looking like, uh, Rogue is looking good going forward. Like, honestly, just we're just looking really good. We're looking solid. I'm very, very excited. I think we should be uh, in a great spot. But yeah, that would be my... Um, What is this mix? That's a mix? I actually like this song. That's a good victory song, dude. Garage defeated. There it is. Bozo down. Uh oh. Cinematic. Oh, yeah, we can leave, can't we? Forgot about that. Take me back. Take me back, boys. Take me back. But right, hold on. I want to take a picture of this one. Hold on. Hold on. Can I transmog myself? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Let me do this. Wait, Jake, you want to come over? Oh, you're not in anymore. Damn. I want to take a picture. I want to have you in here as well. Hell yeah. <laughs> Went to Mythic Gary on all those <laughs> shoulders. Yeah. All you had is the shoulders. Oh man. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Kill Garage boys. There it is. Uh, GG's gentlemen. GG's man. GG's. Oh, that was. I uh, did I even earn a lot of the. Uh, not a lot of bronze for killing the boss. I mean, we got a lot of bronze just for doing all the fights, but yeah. Wait, is there a quest here? Looks like there's a quest I can interact with. Last got a Yisharaj. Okay, what does that do? Victor Low Worker Chow. Oh, yeah, I gotta go talk to the Lord Walker now. There we go. Speaking of Veil, okay, let's restore the Veil real quick. Hell yeah, this was fun, man. Is he doing push-ups or just uh, do not lose next time? Maybe, yeah, he's just doing push-ups ready for the next go. Yeah. Mythic Gary, yeah. <laughs> I was there for Mythic Gary Kel. It is hilarious that we even got a group, man. I'm glad we did it, though. This was super fun. All right, let me go and uh, upgrade, or at least let me go and uh, fix the veil here real quick. All right, and then I'm going to go upgrade some of my gear. We'll probably call it, man. I did not expect that we were going to be doing Mythic Raiding on Garrosh, boys. It just kind of turned out that way. Kill Mythic Gal, kill this guy. I was just going to level, like, my Paladin or something and just have some funsies there. Just mess around with, like, a healer while questing. But instead, we just went in, dropped Garrosh down to the floor, Got a bunch of loot, got a bunch of purples. Like, this was just, like, a perfect amount of serotonins and dopamines hitting my brain, man. It was great. This is awesome. Yeah, as for rugs, though, uh, Void, now that I got, I got more of, like, a, a good thinking brain now that I'm out of the raid, I think rugs are going to be good for this. Like, we generally were good with barred powers and, like, anything that has proc effects. Plus, a drone rush with Outlaw Rogue, or even what is it, Shadow Blades, I guess? A uh, drone rush would be better with like that one stun AoE ability. I think Outlaw is going to be really good for that AoE component. I think Assassination with some of the powers is going to be also really good for single target raiding. Um, rogues generally have good survivability, but also with the shields and faint, like you're not going to be killed by anything. I want to cheat death as well, is also really, really good too. Basically, here we go, do a little bow. The uh, Pandaren Emperor, Bozo the Third. Pops out and says, oh, thank you. Everything is kind of messed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then it 
I thought I think Celestial's gotta join in to restore everything. It's kinda nice. A nice little moment where the veil no longer is all kinds of torn up anymore. It's kinda neat. Feels like a, feels like a fitting end for Pandaria. In a way. You wanna one shot him reach over the shoulders? Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. I still need the shoulders, man. I still need the shoulders. Maybe the mount. That'd be one less mount for me to collect from the uh one less mount for you have to collect for um what is it? The uh, Pandaria mom Pandaria Remix of Pandaria or whatever. They have the um do they have a flag as to work in progress on the PTR? Do they have to flag things as work in progress? I mean everything on PTR is automatically work in progress, right? Nothing is ever hundred percent guaranteed as long as it's on PTR. All of it is good it just as long as it's on PTR it still is a work in progress. I don't know if they necessarily have to flag anything as work in progress. Or what you really mean by that. Okay, talking to Yulon is almost impossible. Oh no, she does stop. I'm just being a goober. Okay. Let's go and upgrade our things. I'm gonna call it here, I think. This is my favorite cutscene, yeah. Yeah, BTR everything is marked as work in progress. It just like automatic like that. Let's just upgrade everything, I guess. By an extra point. Might as well. We got like one more item, I think. 388, 388. Oh, I don't have enough. Man, that's gonna be my uh, OCD. Uh, I don't even. I'm not even super heavy on OCD, but that stuff is gonna start kicking in soon, boys. Telling you, I could drop these, right? Cause I already have a one hander, one axe. I don't necessarily need a second one ever. Not enough though. But yeah, there it is, man. Is this guy get a mog? He got the full mog. Wait, are you a warrior? Wait, hold on. How'd you get the full set? So it looks like this man got the Paladin's whole set and he can still wear it even though he's a Fury Warrior. That's kind of nuts. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I have gems. I do have like some Master Gems though. Wait, I can make a Giga Master Gem in a bit. Boop. Boop. Beautiful. Cool. So this thing is going to be gone by the end of the night, man. This whole mode, or whatever. This is fun, man. It's fun, funny that as a monk, help Garrus destroy Pandaria, and then he goes steal Empower Weapon. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, what, Pandaren were not, they were, really, like, new to all the strangers, and they were just following the Horde and Alliance, but, like, it's not like all the Pandaren have all the answers of, like, when it comes to Pandaria, right? They just live here, but it's not like they know it, like, the back of the hand, right? They just... Only the Emperor really had like in-depth knowledge of things. Or Shadow Pan. Most Pandaren are not Shadow Pan. The way I think of it is like Pandaren are uh, Shadow Pan is a secret of order. And it's not like they reveal secrets to everybody. Is there vendors here? There's a PvP vendors out here. No, there's no PvP vendors, but I guess it makes sense because it's not a PvP mode. That makes sense. Okay, interesting. Normally those wall watches are protect you if you start like alliance or horde fighting. They didn't used to be there, but eventually got added because it was like, alright, alright, alright. We just want Horde to be able to go in and get their gear and Alliance to do the same. Oh, they can still attack and evade each other. Hold on, maybe I can fly around and collect enough of these bronze orbs in the sky to upgrade one more item. Because I have one more item that's not 388 and it's going to just throw me off with OCD man. I need like, just a little more. Just, just a little more bronze. <laughs> Dude! Just, I'm just listening to myself like, just a little more bronze, man. Just a little more bronze. It's like, oh, you guys got bronze? I just need a little more bronze. It's the addiction is setting in, man. The addiction is already setting in. I just, please, just need more bronze, man. Just one more bronze. Just a little more bronze. I'll be good. <laughs> just a little more bronze and I'm good. I don't even know how much I need. I need like a little more, though. <laughs> I wanna, now I can't, I ruined the whole, like, I just need a little more bronze. I ruined it for me. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Oh. 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 Look at that. Oh. Get that circle. Perfect circle. Hell yeah. It wasn't a perfect circle. It was like a... 
An octagon? I don't know. That wasn't a smooth churn. I should have enough now, hopefully. Yeah, 380, that's more than enough. All right, we got that bronze boat, that bronze, yo, yeah. Yeah, I remember farming the spirits best than I expect. I think it's gonna be cool, like the fact that you can go back right now, or once this mode is released, you'll be able to go back and farm up like all those things that you maybe wanted to farm or thought about farming and never fully completed farming back on re uh, live realms. Like just to be able to go back and reform these things or earn them properly this time around or whatever. I think it's gonna be really nice, honestly. I'm very excited about it. Is his shoulder messed up? Yeah, his armor is messed up. Uh, armor of this unit is a bit messed up. It's almost uh, like 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 it's like looks bugged. Looks like it bugged out. It's probably like flipped upside down or something. Here we go. Yeah, now everything is gonna be in that 402 and moves up from there. And you can just keep grinding forever if you wanna. Look at this guy just sitting on like an egg. All those toys you can buy from him. Little weapon guy and you can buy a bunch of consumes. Oh, I forgot I have these things. These just teleport you to a nearby uh, bazaar. I should have been using those more often. I'm flying to these every time. I should have just ported to there. Uh, why could we have a tank evokers in that model? Like they said, they didn't want too many melee in the game. So tank evoker was just off the table. But what about if we tank them from range? How would that work? Like the boss has to move to ya. <laughs> Oh, just pet tank it. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that will work. Have you seen pet AI? Imagine you're having to deal with a janky boss AI that like, keeps moving to you, and then you having to move this pet, and everybody's just micro adjusting, and they just never can put things in the right position. Maybe one day, right? But <laughs> I feel like it's a conversation that I feel like I hear every single time with a vocal being brought up. That's why I'm like rattling on. It's almost like I'm rattling through a script. I just heard it too many times, man. Too many times. Too many times. It's literally my bloodstream at this point. <laughs> Rain tank, yeah. It, it goes to that discussion every time, man. Every time. All of Dragonflight Alpha and Beta. I just had to go back and forth with people on it. And it's just like, I get, I get it. You, you wouldn't like be able to tank as a dragon. How cool would it be if you were literally like a walking Caligos? Full on dragon mode, literally swiping people and wing gusting them. That'd be cool. It's just, it won't work gameplay wise. Like, it just won't work. How do you play, how do you maneuver as a, like a, a dragon that's just like the height of two buses stacked together? Double decker buses while we're at it, right? You're just too big. How's that gonna work? How are you gonna fit through a door? Like, what's, what's what are we doing here? How's this gonna work? You're too big. Positionally, it's gonna be awkward and weird and you're a big-ass model and people are gonna be walking in between their feet and like, how do you see mechanics? You know what I mean? Too many problems come out of it. Too many questions. Not enough, not a lot of answers how to, that would work. Oh, just remove the, just remove the mechanics, I guess, yeah. <laughs> no ground mechanics anymore while you have a big-ass dragon everywhere. Do I get achievements or anything for exploring? Because I know you get like rewards for exp exp uh, other achievements, but I don't think you get any for exploring zones. Augmentation to help my friends. I made someone in Mini Earthquake to cut some legs. I mean, uh, someone in an Earthquake, I think it's perfectly cool. Right? I think Mini Earthquakes, I think, are perfectly fine. But yeah, Augmentation, I think, works because it's like a range class that buffs everybody. It's a like, unique mechanic. They've never done it before. With any class. I mean, they've done buffs and stuff, right? But like a whole class is all about buff based. They've never done it before in that regard. At least I don't think. Mana tanks. Yeah, more well, mana tanks. Like, you would just reduce the mana cost of a lot of your abilities. Like, it's like saying mages use mana now. Like, yeah, it's a resource, but like, it's not something to have to worry about. That's only like an SOD or a classic version of mages that cares. Or like Arcane is the only spec that essentially actually uses mana. For the rest of them, it's just like a limiter, but that's really about it. It just means you can't cast spell skill too often. You know, it doesn't actually like 
hurt ya. That's really what it comes down to. It's just like, it, it's not gonna actually be a real limiter, because it just isn't. It's just the range tanking is what I would have like an issue with. It would have to make him a melee, so you have better control of the uh, bosses and ads. And they did say like, we have too many melee, we don't want to add too many melee. Which is like, I think a reasonable... A reasonable... Take? Not take, it's, there's a better word for it. Or like a reasonable like... It's an understandable... What am I trying to say? An understandable viewpoint. That's a good word. Viewpoint. Because there's a lot of melee. They have been adding, like, anytime they add a new class, it's always melee. Almost always has a melee placed out to it. From Death Knights to Monks to Demon Hunters, and I'm like, alright, well this one, uh... I'm not a melee, but the hell do we do then? Uh, range. Two specs, uh, I guess. Add a third one, but, like, keep them ranged. So if I'm in bronze, right? Yeah, I'm a bozo. Yeah, I'm a bronze bozo now, dude. Call me the bronze bozo. I it started, dude. I told you. I told you. I was like one more bronze, and here we are. I'm just flying around farming bronze. Not really farming, but collecting. But either way, I'm gonna call it collecting. I'm not gonna call it farming because now farming is gonna be a dirty word in my mind. I'm just collecting bronze, just on the way. So I might as well. Where am I flying? I don't know. I'm just. It's on the way. It's just. It's just on the way. <laughs> and the excuses are coming out, boys. The excuses are coming out, dude. It's bad. Look at this bronze, man. My brain makes me want to go collect all of them. They're just floating above this, like, lake. Like, how do you not look at it and, like, oh, I want to collect it? How do you how do you look at it and, like, not want to collect it? You know? <laughs> it's bad, boys. It's bad. It's it's actually just, it's, oh. A guy just killing a thing there. He's not collecting bronze, though. What a bozo. <laughs> it started, boys. It started. How much have I gotten already? 500. Hold on. We do this. I'm gonna go upgrade my weapons just because I want more PC better than my rest of my gear. Dazzle Stage 2 Denial. Oh, it's there, dude. We're already there. Augmentation to help my friends. Yeah, the new that we're doing, make it a golden shiny. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wait. You return? Oh, then you can send, send, spend the item to go to the bazaar and you can return back where you were? I've never used this. I didn't know I was flew here. I had no idea it was gonna be that convenient. Holy. Oh, wait, who am I talking to? I need uh, this guy. That's like a little, like, uh, dinner plate. I can plug my gear in. I can only get one item. It's okay. Why does it go back to green, by the way? It's like purple and it goes into green afterwards. That's weird. Or maybe it only shows as green, but it's not actually green. No idea. Yeah, let me mark this really quick. I'm gonna try seeing what that looks like. Let me get the red weapons. Yeah, let me get the red dagger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. It looks so good, man. Oh, with this set, it looks so good. Oh, they knew what they were doing. Okay, I want to see what this port looks like and works like. Dragon riding plus bronze collection, the equation to hook down. I mean, I like dragon riding. That's true. I love dragon riding. I'm going to do this chat. I'm just going to fly back to where it all began. I'm not going to go collecting bronze. I promise you. Now I feel like I'm... Now, I'm saying this out loud and I really mean it, but it sounds like copium. I'm gonna fly way high up into the sky where there's no bronze. I'm gonna go Jade Forest, because this is where it all began. I'm just gonna go log off in Jade Forest, because this is over, man. This thing is ending tonight. I've done everything we could. We killed Garrosh, we geared up our character, got a bunch of purples, got a bunch of gems. Uh... I mean, we created like an Im like immortal rogue build with a ton of shields. Like, we were not dying at all, dude. Nothing was gonna kill us, except at the end, but mechanics. I'm rank one worker in a miss, and the only worker that killed Garrosh, but like, how can you tell? Or did you get like an achievement for it? I got Raid Finder achievement, but I didn't get a Garrosh one for some reason. Which is weird. Yeah, how can you tell? I'm sure there's an another worker that probably did kill it. I won't be surprised. Whatever ever class being played. Hold a second, how am I uh, running with it? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I wonder what rarity the gear will be when the characters go live. So they start out at green and eventually, I think the rarity of gear depends on what content you get it from. Greens, it looks like you get it from like more casual content. Blues, you would get from heroic content. And mythics look like they drop. I've only seen purples drop 
from Mythic content so far. But I imagine like raids are probably going to be different. Maybe like normal raids would give you blues, heroic raids would give you purples, and then Mythic Garrosh is like the new version of heroic or whatever, right? Because that's the only raid that was on Mythic as Garrosh, SOO. Because that's when they introduced the idea of Mythic raids. And like make it heroic a little bit more easier to approach, but Mythic was where the difficulty was going to go, really spiking upwards. So I have no idea. I guess we'll know for sure like as time goes on, but yeah, that's my, that's my uh, idea here. I have a problem. Okay, I have a problem. I admit it. Okay. I'm looking out for more bronze. I have a problem, chat. I like bronze. Also wonder if the gear is going to become charmer in events. What's so, from what we know so far, is any gear you get from this, like eventually these characters get converted. It's happening. Uh, these characters get converted into a normal character after the event, like the whole event is gone, right? After it is completely done and there's no more time running, these characters are then converted into retail characters that you can play for the War Within, if you have War Within expansion. Like, let's say you're classic playing and decide to buy War Within. Now you can play War Within. So I imagine the gear is going to go through a conversion where instead of having these gems, you're not going to be able to take these gems with you into retail. There's just no shot, man. There's just actually zero chance that's going to happen. What I think they're going to do is they're going to convert these items into like, Oh, a critical strike heavy gloves, right? That doesn't have a lot of agility. They're probably just going to juice it full of agility, let you keep the critical strike. As for these stats, I imagine they're going to convert them into like versatility, haste, master crit, whatever, whatever. They're just going to convert them to a combination. And all these gemmed abilities, you're very likely not going to be able to keep. I'd be very, very, very surprised if you got to keep them. Incredibly surprised if you got to keep them. But they're just going to convert into like normal gear. Or maybe they're just going to be like, all right, uh, let's take you out into um, out of time running into normal game. And they'll be like, you're going to lose all the gear you're wearing, but you get to keep all the appearances. Are you ready to go? And then it'll be like, hey, this mode is going to be canceled and it's going to happen automatically at some point. And they're probably just going to give you like a, some kind of a starter set for War Within. Kind of like how you know how you boost a character to level 70, they're probably just going to give you like a starter set of gear where you can start playing into War Within. At least I imagine. Or they'll convert all the items you have into like a normalized version for War Within. I do, I do hope that they'll let you like take the item level and like at least have the items like reflect that item level to some degree, right? Even if they convert the stats, right, take out the gems, give them some haste, versatility, master, crit, or random combination of those stats. But, like, hopefully they'll let you keep the item level. Max item level from Season 4 to DF, we just started with Mythic Gear. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, for war for Season 4, all that Mythic Gear you get in Dragonflight, you'll be able to take it into War Within. And usually what happens is you get to use that gear all the way through a leveling journey, because it ends up being better than any questing gear you get from War Within. Like, unlike TBC or Wrath, where you replace your items very quickly, they wanted to solidify, like, any endgame gear from last raid, the very final raid of the expansion, so, like, Season 4, it's gonna be actually good leveling gear. That's gonna make your character feel pretty strong for a good po good portion of War Within. A massive portion of War Within. Where's some Wellington Axe? Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe then TBC and Wrath, you didn't replace gear as easily. I think maybe casual players probably... Did that secondary stats were way too good from Sunwell? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I will see what they do with it, but they, these characters are supposed to be converted eventually. Um, and they'll probably do some kind of gear conversion system for it, removing the gems, giving you stats. Fair Lath and Evoke a Gauntlet and War Within before that'll happen. Uh, you still can, yeah, you definitely can. I, they, I mean, people are going to be running the raid still, and as long as you kill for rack once a week on LFR normal heroic, you eventually get the quest. Like eventually becomes a guarantee. Same thing for the Evoker Gauntlet, right? Whatever difficulty you kill it on, eventually it's a guarantee. They added some stuff on like data mind, charts, and it looks like those charts, while not named, they do correlate with the plate Lego and the Sarkareth, or plate class Lego and the Sarkareth Lego. Or Evoker Lego rather. So it's a guarantee at some point. Like once you kill the boss, it's just a, it's a guarantee. You killed him this many times, it's a guaranteed drop. There's no chance of you not getting it at that point. Everything will be made part of the DK because I'm not uh, I'm not leveling 70 to 70 to 80 without my legendary. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, I want, I'm pretty sure Legendary won't work anymore. I'm pretty sure they'll disable the actual effect. But it'll be a solid weapon, I think, for a good while. Especially once it's awakened, you get a super high animal level. I don't think you'll be able to use the weapon, though. I don't think- I think the legendary effect is gonna wear off really quickly. Maybe, like, past level, uh, 81, it'll just turn off. I wouldn't be surprised, because that's something that happened, like, with a lot of, like, Legos in... Uh, I eventually, like, Legion Legos into BFA. Eventually, those Legos just stopped working. But it was, like, a good bit until they stopped. Like, the 100% crit shoulders for Lego, for rogues, was really, really strong. Legend of Grace said 540 Atom level. We'll see. I think the Atom level, yes, they'll keep the Atom level, but I don't think they'll keep like the effect. But the Atom level is still gonna be really good. Like, a lot of those gear, a lot of the gear from end of um what is it? End of uh, season four is gonna be really strong. I think all of it is gonna be solid. But we'll see. Who's Yala Collector? Still in my intro, aren't you? Somebody yelling? Don't make me stand up. Oh, it's over there, it's like quested. With the pandas. Okay. Well, this is fun, boys. I enjoyed this. I cannot wait until this goes live. I don't know if they're going to do more testing for this mode in the future, but this was a blast. I actually love this. <laughs> I think what's also made it cooler is the fact that it's not out, like, for the entire PTR, right? It's a limited time test. Get people funneled in. Get them playing. Get them dungeoning. Get them raiding. Get them doing stuff, right? This is enjoyable. This is really cool. But yeah, thank you all. I'm gonna go here, man. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna probably work on like a mini project for tomorrow. I'm taking day off tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow. To Wednesday or Tuesday might be War with an Alpha. That's gonna be exciting. Hopefully we'll get in. Even if we don't, we're gonna cover everything we can about it. We'll see how that all goes. But I'll see you guys Tuesday, yeah? Hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the uh, the raid. It was a blast, man. Even though we were one of the lesser DPS or classes in there. I like the pearls of Warlocks. We were at least kind of helpful. We did mechanics. I threw a stun in here and there, you know. But yeah, I'll see you guys uh, Tuesday. Have a wonderful evening. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.